is right there. And now trying to grab a handful, putting his foot up as soon as he can. He'll tuck in and slide back on the seat, putting that traction on the rear tire. Sadoff leads him at Springfield. Here's Drain again. Backstretch into three. He'll get past both, and Sadoff slips back to third. Well, with three riders, they're, you know, they've got the one bike in the sandwich, and here comes the 21, reeling them back in. Don't count out Bruner yet. And now here comes another Turner Honda, closing in, making a six-way battle. Sadoff sliding up the inside. He'll get caught, but that's it as they go to one again. Mishler closes right in on Declan Bender going into one, so Mishler's reeled them in. That's hard to do by yourself, Ralph. Two minutes, two laps remain. Parts Unlimited AMT Singles, presented by Kicker. Cody Cop looking up the inside of Sadoff. I don't know if, if the championship wasn't online, he might have went up there and took that spot right there, but instead he gets back in line, lets these two kind of battle for the lead. Cody's riding very smart right now. He wants to lock up this championship. Sadoff up the inside to the lead. Yeah, he's got it again. Drain led him at the start finish line, though, by 0 .028 yeah. seconds. So that's a factor. The key is going to be getting through three and four quick enough that you take that last tenth of a second away from Drain at the line. It looks like right now the place to be is going into three to be in second place and then use the draft and make the pass at the start finish line. We haven't seen Cody Cobb try to force the issue I don't know if Chase can do yet. that though. I don't think anybody can right now. It looks like Drain is always fastest off of four to that start finish line and leads another lap this time by .008 seconds. And now it's Cobb up to second. The two Essence and Yamahas are third and fourth as Bruners march his way towards the front. Don't count him out yet. Watch, Watch Bruner here on the 21. Really getting oh, man. really sideways. That's just grabbing that throttle way too hard, way too soon in that corner. You got to kind of roll it on a little bit, a little bit more gently than he just did. Here's Sadoff. Sadoff leads him off of four. Let's see what he can do this time. Look, he's got some breathing room. He makes it work that time. That's what I think the key is, Scotty. He's got to get through three and four better than Drain. Oh, Drain slips wide. This is going to cause yep. a shakeup. And we're going to see zeros next time by. We're going to have two to go because Drain's going to slip even further back, maybe behind Bruner. This could be the key for Chase Sadoff now. Kristen called it, the one bike. Let's go racing. That's what Joe Kopp told him to do. Now he's got a chance to win the Springfield Mile. He's right behind Chase Sadoff. The clock has expired. Off of tournament four, Cop is there. Two to go when they come to the line. Chase Sadoff. Here comes the one of Cop. Here comes the 59 Drain, tracking him back down. Two to go. Drain sneaking a peek up oh, the inside. Oh, look at that Drain as we go to the progressive race to the checkers. Drain had slipped all the way back to fourth. Then he gets back to the lead for a brief second. Sadoff goes right back to the point. Oh, man, this is going to be a good finish now. Chase looking for his first ever career AFT singles win. He's got to beat the 59 today. And Cop looking for the championship. And here comes Bruner. Yeah, the train looking for another win and an incredible season for the young Australian. The White flag awaits him. The 21 swung out wide. I thought he's going to go three wide going into three. He gets back in line. One more lap to go on the Springfield mile racing to the checkers. Here we go down into turn number one. Drain at the point. Sadoff sits in second. Cop is right there in third. Then a bike length of two. But here's Sadoff to the lead. In the Trying middle. Trying to pull away. In the middle of the corner. That's where he's really good. Now he's going to have to be outstanding through the middle of three and four to keep Drain at bay. Drain tries to answer back and does so. Cop coming with him. That's Who's going to have the run to the checkers here at Springfield for the Parts Unlimited AFT singles? Final corner. Sadoff is back in third. Can he use the double draft? Drain back out front doing what he's done so much this year, leading him to the line. He's going to do it again. No, Cobb gets it. Cobb gets his eighth win and the championship, and he does it by a hundredth of a second over Drain. Cody Cobb, what a run. Eight wins, back-to-back -back championships. Cody Cobb, take a bow.
All right, 10 second board is up. Penultimate race of the 2023 championship. Progressive American Flat Track Mission Food Super Twins. Here we go. Revs are up, waiting for the green. Drop the clutch and we're underway. Here we go, headed to turn one. Who's gonna get there first? It's Jared with the start. Here comes Dallas right with him, and J.D. Beach trying to help his essence and teammate get up there. Well, look at Robinson way going up to the, on the outside. outside. Robinson, way, way out there. You have nothing to lose. If you're starting back in the pack, you might as well go try it. And where's Breyer? Breyer sits in fourth. J.D. got by Dallas going on the back straightaway. He's up to second. Now Breyer goes into third, going into three. Mees right where he wants to be, out front. Beach, Breyer. Then it's Dallas Daniels. Davis Fisher and the rest coming to the line. Robinson not giving up on that high line as they come by the double green flags. You hear the tires squawking as they go off into turn number one. Robinson still making up some time on that 44. He's back in line. Head down, gold wheels spinning fast. Closing in on the Yamahas. Make hay while you can. He's going in one line higher than the Yamahas. Goes by J.D. Beach, puts the 44 up to four. Gets in front of Dallas Daniels. The rider slips off the groove at the back of the pack. He's starting to lay down some times. Right and Jared picks up another tenth of a second on him. 36.744 for Meese that time by Briar. 36.815. Robinson up to third as he gets around Beach. Could be the spoiler. He needs to keep that number one right there in front of him. So does the number three bike. 32 is back there battling with his teammate for fifth right now. Here comes Robinson again. Outside line. No, says Breyer. Like the 44 trying some different lines right now. You got to do it while they're still there. You don't want to wear out that line, but if it's there, use it to your advantage. If you're hoping Dallas Daniels can win this championship, you got to be a little concerned about what you're seeing performance wise right now that monster back Yamaha. Well, Dallas and Dallas's fans needs that three and that 44 to get in front of that one bike. That's what Dallas fans need. Here he comes looking inside a beach. 40, 44 and Robinson right to second. In the second like that. Can he get around Mies? And can the Yamaha sit back there and watch what the 44 just did and try that high line that seems like they're both committed to the bottom. Here comes Breyer back. Robinson closing in on the leader. Yeah, he is right in the center of the corner, but we'll see what he can do here. 11 minutes and two laps to go. It's a long ways. Like Robinson's charge to the front. Beach looking inside of Daniels. Got him. Robinson to the lead around the outside, going into three. Brandon Robinson, your new leader here at Springfield with 11 minutes and two to go, and Dallas trying to make something happen with Breyer. If he can do it, he did. Dallas Daniels is up to third. Mees is back into the lead. Get up there as close as he can to that one bike. Now, Brian back around. back around. Daniels, he's now up to third. Lots of racing left to go here at Springfield. It almost looks like when the 44 went past the one, the one kind of picked up the pace a little bit. Dallas Daniels back inside on Bauman, and we go back downstairs to Kristen. Yeah, Ralph, Brandon Robinson was our fastest qualifier today, and what he described as a lackluster season has now motivated him. He said it is time. He told me earlier today, experience pays here. And, guys, he has that great experience here at the Springfield Mile. He finished on the podium back in 2020. He could be a threat here and break up this championship hump between Dallas and, and Jared Mees. No doubt about it. Found the back to third. He was quickest early in the day, Scotty, but in the middle of the day, he seemed to have lost some pace. Now here at the end of the day, he seems to have found it again. They've evidently went back there, made some changes to that motorcycle. He's trying the line just one notch higher than everybody else right now, but now he's back in line. And more on Kristen's story, Robinson actually has won here twice back in 2013, both races. Yeah, the top. One tenth of a second between Mees and Robinson. The right top here. two guys on the racetrack are the only two guys in the Premier class that have won the Springfield Mile, Mees and Robinson. Well, and that experience could pay off big time here. 
But Daniels is just hung up back there in fifth. Yeah, it, you know, he got by his teammate. He got by Breyer once, but now he goes back in line. So he's, he's settled back there in fifth. And Fisher's making his way towards the front in sixth on the 67 bike. Nine minutes and two laps to go. like what Robinson's doing right now, Ralph. He's not pushing the envelope. He's not pushing too hard. He's keeping the one right there in his sights, maybe like Cody Cobb did in the singles class. Not abusing that tire either. Correct. And not showing his cards yet. Yeah. He knows he can pass him. He passed him already. Staying in line, maybe thinking about it, maybe letting off a little bit right yeah, there. Yeah, I was going to say, it looked like he let off a little bit there because he was right on him, and you know the draft wasn't working. If he wanted, probably could have gotten it. And that's so hard to do as a racer. You don't ever want to let off that throttle, especially when you have a chance to pass somebody, but don't show your cards too soon. Breyer keeping Monas right there in that third position. Beach in fourth, Daniels in fifth. Vandekoy marching towards the front. He's up to sixth on that Wally Brown Racing KTM. Here he comes again, inching up, and you can see he kind of stalls it out a little bit on purpose. I think he's holding there on purpose, Scotty. Yeah, I think so too. Applying the pressure, but not too much. Not showing a wheel, not showing up, you know, not showing any of his moves. Kristen. What I find particularly impressive about Brandon Robinson's run here at the Springfield Mile, guys, this is a track that rewards a more compact racer, a smaller racer. They have to get small on the bike to keep their aero window and their aero bubble tight. Brandon Robinson is the with all of that extra space that he has to create. This time he's a little off the draft, but here comes Breyer. Yeah, Robinson might have tried something while we were listening to the race report about Robinson. You can see how tall he is. His upper body is very tall. What he can do is get as far back on that seat as he can and then lean far forward. So the transfer of the weight is very different for that 44. Cross flags halfway. Breyer up to second on the three bike. Seven minutes, two laps to go. See if Breyer can track down the one bike. They're keeping them right there in their sights now. Breyer has the uh, third fastest lap so far. Dallas is just out of this one, Scotty. Yeah, he's dropped off the lead group. Four riders are out there battling for the top spot, and Dallas is struggling just to keep them in his sights. His teammate is ahead of him, but by about 25 bike lengths. So Dallas is, you know, trying to salvage what he can, but he's lost touch with the lead group. Oh. Let's see what Ryer has for the one bike. The 44 closes right back on the back tire of the three. Mies, Ryer Bauman. Brandon Robinson, there's a look at the second place rider in the points, the 32 of Dallas Daniels. Well, you can see Daniels just fighting with that bike coming off the corner. Bauman closed up and then backed off going into three. And it really looked like Meese dove deep into turn number three on that number one bike. Meese leading the majority of the laps here today in this one. Six minutes, two to go. Breyer's right there, but so is the 44 of Brandon Robinson. I think Meese is up to 100% showing all of his cards yet either, though. His now, he looks like he's eased up a tenth, right? Yeah, his last lap of 37.383. Best lap of 36.744. So they're a little bit off as what they were when they started the race. Could be a little conservation mode right now. Yeah. Watch well, it. he hasn't seen anybody come by him in a while, right? So he's figuring, okay. Those guys are trying to play it a little bit easy. I better play it easy, too, so I have something left. Well, and you also have to finish the race, too. You know, they're, they're pushing their, their bikes as hard as they can. They want to blow them right. up as we slide back to fifth place. The Dallas Daniels is checking on him. Fisher's slowly catching up to the 32 on the 67 bike, looking for that fifth spot. Robinson has slipped back a little bit here. He's lost a couple bike lengths. Might be a two-way battle for the win now as Breyer is applying the pressure to the one going into three. Track is breaking up going into the turn number three right now. So a little bit less than five minutes and two laps to go. You see Jared really just almost pick himself up and slide way back on that seat. Here comes Breyer up the inside. Yeah, Breyer attacking now. Easily gets by him. All right, so Jared can be passed. We've just now seen it. Breyer Bauman to the head of the class. Inside of four and a half minutes and two to go. Now does Breyer try to leg it out and pull away? 
or does he stay with that casual approach for a few laps? Well, he wants to see if the one can retaliate. He doesn't know how close he is. There's no communication with anybody in the pits. He has no idea how close that one is other than what he can hear and feel. Probably can't even see a shadow, but Brian's put, or Breyer's putting his head down, trying to stretch out that lead. Yeah, he's, he's trying to make it happen. He's too tense up now. Robinson, though, still has the fastest lap of the race, but that was quite a few laps ago. Boy, Dallas Daniels is some almost three and a half seconds behind these top two. Back there in fifth. And look at this, Dallas Daniels just in front of Davis Fisher. Paddling Fisher. over fifth. Fisher's coming on that 67 bike. You know, he wants another top five. He's fifth in the point standings, and that's a, a good solid year for that 67. You just saw right there, his shield is completely covered. He'll reach up and grab a tear off. Unless he doesn't have any, I'm talking about the 67 bike. The tires squawking as they go into turn number one. Coming up on three minutes, two to go. And here comes Jared. He's got the draft. He's got the lead going into three. And that's okay. I mean, he wants to show that he can go back, pass by the three when he wants to. His last lap was about one tenth, one full tenth faster than, than Breyer's on that last run. We said it all season long. It's easier to run second. You have somebody to chase after, somebody to judge how deep you can go in those corners. Right now, Breyer just needs to apply the pressure to the one bike. The one needs to go out there and hit his marks every single corner do what you can and set up for a perfect finish it was an excellent turn one and two for the number one bike here comes the three not able to make the draft pass on the back straightaway Meese, briar bauman brandon robinson jd beach and dallas daniels still in the top five two minutes coming up and two laps to go Meese has led the majority of the laps in this final main event of the day He's looked just like he would have hoped to be. That is the guy to beat here. But Bauman has got a card to play. Relentless. He's right there, not giving up. He's still right on the back tire. They both look over their shoulder at the same time. How many how many riders do I have to hold off? Or how it's many riders these do I have two. to pass? It's exactly. these two to the finish. And now they know. They can see the clock every yeah. time they go by the start finish line. They know how much time is left. Robinson yeah. was there for about three quarters of the race, but he's dropped out. Just about two seconds back. And these guys are going to settle with a minute and a half and two laps to go. There's Kenny Tolbert. Look at that. Still using the old school stopwatch, keeping track of their times lap after lap. The old school way. Right. Now another quick look over the yep. shoulder. Look at Mies, his bike moving around, coming off of two. And that, that tire can be getting hot, can yep. be getting a little bit slippery. The three bike is there. And you know Breyer is seeing that. Definitely is. See if it moves coming off of four. There it is moving dancing, around a little it's bit. Dancing. Yep. All right, coming inside of a minute and two to go. Right, taking a look around the outside. But he hasn't Jared, tried gained, that. Jared gained another two hundredths of a second on that lap, even with the tire moving around on. What I like right there is Briar took a look around the outside going into one, maybe trying to play some cat and mouse with the number one bike and say, hey, maybe I might try the high line. What I like for Briar is he's keeping feet on the pegs way better than Jared is. His bike is a lot more stable. And they're both dancing around a little bit. The tires are getting slippery out there. The track is slicking off. They're going to have to go one more time before they get the two laps to go sign. Briar's right there. Looks like Jared's putting his head down. All right, here we go. They'll see two to go next time by. 37.4. A quick lap right there for Meese. The last lap for Briar, 37.53. So Meese has got some speed. Briar just needs to keep him right there in his sights. Close enough to make a draft pass, but it looks like Meese has got plenty of breathing room now. All right, here we go. Coming to that white flag and one to go. Meese wants... Oh, yeah, we just went to two to go now. Clocks are at zero. So they'll get the two to go this time by. Here it is. And Mies has stretched out that lead. He's up to three-tenths of a second as we get into our progressive race to the checkers. Mises. So Mies able to put his head down a little bit when he had to here at the end. Yeah, and that might be enough to break 
the tie to Breyer. He's picking up the pace. Last time he I was sure is. a 37.4. This last time now 37.231. So he look at look at the lead he's got right now. So Breyer had him right there in his sights, and now he's losing touch with the leader. White flag this time by me. Well, and it won't Breyer. be enough for Jared to clinch the championship here today, but it will be what victory number eight here at the Springfield Mile for Jared Mees, and it will be a step closer to title number nine, which he can clinch tomorrow here. Fire though, deep into turn number one, trying to close that gap, see if he can do anything to keep that number one right there at bay. Mees looks over his shoulder. He wants to see where Breyer is. Nowhere close enough yet to make a challenge. Back straight away into three. It's all Jared Mees from here. That Indian has performed flawlessly in this main event. Here they come, Breyer's closing. Coming up off a of four, Bauman giving it everything he can on that number three KTM. But it's Jared Mees, the reigning champ, taking victory number eight here at the Springfield Mile. And Dallas Daniels will finish in fifth behind his teammate J.D. Beach. And the championship will go to championship Sunday here at the Springfield Mile. To get fueled by mission as the world's most extreme dirt track riders and tastiest products come together to fuel your flavor. Fully loaded tacos, fast wraps, piled high nachos, whatever you crave, mission will help you be race ready with easy to make recipes that will take your race day to the finish line. Keep your racing delicious and enjoy all the mouth watering action. Brought to you by Mission Foods. Too fast, too tasty. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day number two here at the Mission Springfield Mile presented by Drag Specialties. Good morning, Springfield. Is that better? It's the last day of school, the last race of the season. Round number 18, Progressive American Flat Track. This is my favorite place to be at the Springfield Mile. I'm Scotty Dubler. Ralph Shaheen will be alongside in a little bit. Kristen Bede is headed down there to get all the scoop of what's happening in the pit area. It is the final race of the season. Coming down to uh, secure one championship. The singles championship was wrapped up yesterday by Cody Kopp with his first mile victory of his career in the AFT singles class. The Twins Championship is still up for grabs. There is 11 points separating the one bike and the 32 bike. Those two are the uh, only two that can win the championship, but there could be a different race winner. There could be a spoiler. We will see in just a little bit. Bikes are going to roll here pretty soon. There goes Meese. I think he was just tired of sitting there. Maybe his bike was getting warm. I don't know. Maybe he's just playing some mental games like he did yesterday with uh, the 32. Group number one will roll out here in just a second. The one is Jared Meese, the 32 Dallas Daniels from Mattoon, Illinois, 95 J.D. Beach. The three is Briar Bauman, the 67 Davis Fisher, 44 Brandon Robinson, the 20 bike Jared Vandekoy on the KTM doing it for Wally Brown this weekend. 37 is Bronson Bauman, also on a KTM. 36 Colby Carlisle on a Yamaha, 25 Ben Lau on an Indian. 10 is Johnny Lewis on the Royal Infield, the 17. Henry Wiles on an Indian, 62 Dan Bromley on a Yamaha, and the 34 Cameron Smith is getting faster as the season goes on. He's on a Yamaha as well. First round of practice, shields are down. Here we go. Usually the best lap, the most fun of the day for these riders when they get up to full speed. Track was completely redone last night. And here they go. Meese puts it on the back wheel. JD does as well. Looks like they're feeling good. Time to go out there and have some fun. They all go up to the high side. And right now when there's moisture up there, the high side is usually the funnest way around. Meese didn't even put his foot down. Dallas is staying right there behind him. Didn't want to go past him. Wants to see what's going on. Lap number one, first round of practice. Mission Super Twins presented by SNS Cycle on the racetrack. There goes Dallas up the inside. Makes a little bobble right there. They're up to full song on the front straightaway. Big P, the flag man's waving the green. Here they come. The 32 and the one. Let the mind games begin. Daniels on the 32, Meese on the 1, JD's on the 95 right behind them, two Estenson Yamahas. 
Jared took a look over his shoulder, wanted to see who was behind him. Looks like Jared let off a little bit right there, didn't want to make that pass. Strategy already early Sunday morning. Labor Day weekend. Honestly, don't remember the last time we had the last race of the season at Labor Day in Springfield. Here's the Michigan Speedy Cam. JD's going to get in the mix. Maybe those two are kind of playing around with each other, not going up to full speed. So JD says, I'll go down here and lead it. Gets back in line behind the one. He went road racing a couple weekends ago in Pittsburgh. Dallas drops to the bottom of the racetrack, trying the low line. Comes up the inside of the 95. That was a nice three and four for the 32 bike. Robinson quickest so far, 36.178. He's two tenths of a second faster than Meese. Again, it's only practice, but go out there and figure out what you got early on. Twenty seven super twins here today. Man, I wish I was out there right now. The track is perfect. Jared Meese goes to the top spot, three five point seven zero two, and Dallas comes right along with him up to second, three five point seven five one. There's Brandon Robinson, had a great day yesterday. Currently third quick in this practice session. You know, to me, that's impressive on an Indian and being that tall to run up front, you know, through every session yesterday. He looked really strong. There's 62, Dan Bromley. There goes Breyer up to the high side of the racetrack, the long way around. Breyer currently 10th quick right now. On his KTM, 36.618. White flag is out. Checkered flag is out for the one. Jared Meese, 32. Dal standing is right behind him. 5.702 quick time so far for Jared Meese. Daniel second, 35.751. Robinson third, 35.765. That's just group number one. Two groups, Mission Super Twins. If you're here early, be sure and stop by and get yourself a raffle ticket. We got some raffles going on today. Back on track is raffling off a TT. A TTR 125, there's only 50 of them have made it to the state so far. They are brand new, and Yamaha was gracious enough to give one to back on track for the raffle. Mm -hmm. I think Tree stayed up all night last night, so a little bit, uh, a little bit on the goofy side. Probably celebrating that uh, Penn State finally won a game. <laughs> now he's not even listening to me. <laughs> Who? Who? Uh huh. Yep. We're good at we're good at that game. Group two. Onto the racetrack. Mission Super Twins again coming out according to their point standings. 109, Billy the Kid on the Harley Davidson from Michigan. 61, Casey Cisco also on a Harley Davidson. He is from Indiana. 94, Ryan Wells on a Royal Infield from New York. 223, Jeffrey Lowry on a Yamaha from Ohio. 92, Brandon Price had a good day yesterday. He's riding on a Yamaha. 60s, Nick Armstrong. He's from California, also on a Yamaha. 96, Cody John Cox from New York, a Yamaha rider as well. 77, Jordan Harris on the Ryan Barnes Racing KTM. Jordan's from Pennsylvania. 99, Kevin Stallings on a Kawasaki. He's from Indiana. 42, Jeremiah Duffy, 
also from Indiana, also on a Kawasaki. 160, Austin Humboldt from the Pacific Northwest riding Kawasaki. Pat Buchanan from Michigan on a KTM. And the 38, Tanner Dean from Washington on a Kawasaki twin as well. Second group, first round of practice. Two rounds of practice for both classes here today, and then two rounds of qualifying. Duffy's got a little different style. You saw that right there on the 42. His elbows are really up on both sides going through those corners. There he is right there that next to the last ride of the 42 bike. Just watch his arms up there. A little bit different. He's always easy to spot for me. And there, the riders that have been through the wind tunnel say you keep those arms leveled with the ground. And the air will go through. Oh, one bike has, has an issue once again. It's the 99. Watch out, 42. The 99 is one of the bikes that had a chain issue yesterday. Don't know if the chain came up of it again today or not, but he's right there. That's a good spot to park, but he'll try to coast to the infield to get out of harm's way. Hope the chain's still on the motorcycle this time. Wow. 99 problems, but the chain ain't won. And he's 99, Kevin Stallings. All right, the, end of the, the other end of the truck's having too much fun. <laughs> yep, you can tell it's the last race of the year. There's the 92, Brandon Price. Right, tuck in and get as small as you can. Try to get under the paint, as they used to say. Sometimes you gotta try to get under the plastic nowadays. Price, Wells. Armstrong up to 18th quick on the 60 bike. Duffy is out there on the 42. He is currently 16th. Brandon Price on the track as well. He's 14th quick. Jeffrey Lowry, the 223, is now 10th quick. Fastest bike on the racetrack, the 223. 36.594. Group two, Mission Super Twins. Giving us hard questions. I haven't even woke up yet, Tree. White flag is out. Question is, do we have a favorite moment of the year? I'll think on that. Yeah. Yeah. Give me, give me, give me a little bit to wake up. I've only had one Dr. Pepper. He's at the top spot, 35.702. Nobody in this group is closing in on him right now. Jeffrey Lowry is the fastest. There he is on that 223, currently in the 10th spot, 36.594. Checkered flag is out. Group two, Mission Super Twins. Championship still up for grabs in the Super Twins class. 11 points separating the top two spots. Right now, Meese in control. He's won 10 out of the last 12 miles. It's going to be hard to beat. AFT singles are up next for their first round of practice. 31 total entries. They will all qualify into a heat race. One rider will pick up $500, the Pronto Parts Plus Pole Award. There's Lowry of the 223. Group one getting set to roll onto the racetrack. Parts Unlimited AFT Singles sponsored by Kicker. The one bike, yesterday's winner, won his first mile of his career yesterday. Will lead him out. Locked up the championship yesterday as well. The 21 Trevor Bruner, second in points. 59 Tom Drain, third. 88 Chase Saddle from Hillsboro, Illinois, roll out fourth. Max Whale, 18. 48 Trent Lowe, 79. Dalton Gauthier, beautiful wheel stand right there by the one. 13, Morgan Mishler, 19, James Ott, his teammate, 49, Chad Coast, the 82, Travis Petten, 26, Aiden Rusevans. Looks like he's got a different number one plate on there. Looks like the championship number one plate. 
75, Taryn Santero. 63, Jared Lowe. 52, Shana Texter Bauman. And the 51, Cole Zabala, another Illinois rider. Different colored number plate on the one bike. Locked up the championship yesterday. Looks like a gold number one out there on the front of the uh, number one bike. Last day of the season, last race of the season. 88. Just took a look over his shoulder halfway down the back straight. We want to see who he's playing with, and it's the 21 of Bruner Blackjack. There's Maxwell on the 18. A group of about five riders back there chasing Maxwell, or chasing Cody Cop. Maxwell is in the middle of that group of five riders. Sadoff's got a nice line right there. He's closing in on Cop, kind of by himself. First round of practice, Tom Drain goes to the top spot, 36.860 for the 59 bike. Saddle is right there, second. Saddle for running the bottom of the racetrack, down by the guardrail. Here's the 18 of Maxwell. Currently uh, back in seventh right now. Trying to find some drafting help. They've actually tracked down Cody Kopp. Kopp is back in seventh at the moment. Sadoff goes to the top spot, 36.795 for the 88. Illinois rider looking for his first ever win in the AFT singles class in his second season. These guys are mixing it up like it's the main event already. Cop drops to the bottom of the racetrack, wants to see where Sadoff is running. Gets back in line. Wow, they're trying to go four wide going into turn number one. Here comes Whale up the inside, looking to get up there with his teammate. Drain goes to the top spot. The 59 caught this lead group, and Drain is now fastest. 36.707 for Drain. Here comes Trent Lowe on the 48 bike. He is now second quick. So Drain and Lowe working together back there. They're like fifth and sixth on the racetrack. They're the fastest two on the track, though. That big pocket of air in front of them, you know, breaking up the air. Those four bikes, they're going four wide across the start finish line. I don't know if anybody told them or not, but this is just practice. They're riding like it's a main event. Another quicker lap for the 59 bike, 36.707. About exactly one second slower than the Super Twins. Wow, the 21 had his hands full right there, just about got into the back tire of the 88. This is what we came to see right here. The track is perfect. You can ride pretty much anywhere. There's the 21. Lead him off at turn number four. Check the flag is out. New quick time in practice. 36.650 for 59. Tom Drain. Trent Lowe's right there in second. Ralph said I go ahead and write that one down. There's another group coming up. Bet they're all smiling right now. That looked like a lot of fun. Group number one, Parts Limited AFT Singles Class. Don't forget to get your souvenir programs. You get those autographed a little bit later on. Oh, good. Got a little message from the other side of the truck. They got a new authorized nickname for Chase Sadoff. Chainsaw. We'll see how that, see if that sticks. It come from the other side of the truck. I just got it from the other side of the truck. <laughs> He's like third row official. I could see him. I could see him. He's ripping through the field like a chainsaw. Yeah. 
Group two is on the track. Parts Limited AFT Singles first round of practice. 91, Justin Jones, 24, Hunter Bauer. 216, Declan Bender, 166, Logan Eisenhardt, 216, 166. One of those two riders is going to win Rookie of the Year. Special thanks to Mobile View, $7,500 up for grabs between those two riders. 55 is Raggio, set 117, Landon Smith, 56, Jordan Jean, 186, Jacob Van de Coy. 14, Damon Ream, 112, Aiden Brown, 106, Reese Podorf, 157, Ian Wolf, two, uh, red flag is out. 270 is Reynolds, 149 is Birdsong, 176 is Jacob Walters, so the red flag is out. Same thing from where I am sitting. They're looking on the back straightaway, they're trying to get everybody to go towards the uh, infield of that back straightaway. There's the 149 bike. Looks like he doesn't have any brakes. Jumped off the motorcycle. Something's laying on the back straightaway, so they're trying to get that picked up, see if there was a, uh, if it blew up or what happened. All right, watch the 149 right here. This is coming into the pits, and he's got his foot all the way down on that right side. There's no break right here, so he's trying to get the thing woed down. Jumps off of it, and he's still trying to woe it down. That steel shoe's just gonna slide across the dirt, but not sure exactly what happened to the 149. Looks like all the parts are on the motorcycle. They're putting some speedy dry on the back straightaway. So uh, something happened. Possibly the 149's bike let go. And if there's if there's oil, yeah, it looks like that back wheel is shiny. The back tire is shiny too. So uh, possibly some oil on that back straightaway. I thought something was on the back chute, but it is uh, putting speedy dry down. Good thing is it's on the straightaway, so it's not as important as it is if there's oil on the uh, in, in either one of the corners. So um, I'm guessing it was the 149 had engine issues on that back straightaway. He, he was flying yesterday. Tragen Bird song. Kansas rider. Looks like the motor is let go. And usually that's that's how it goes. They run fastest before they let go. Right before they blow up. Look at that shot from the progressive sky cam. That is a lot of flour, man. We can make a lot of cakes with that. Rocco and Q. And it went all the way on the straightaway. That'll take a little bit to clean up. We're in group number two, first round of practice here for the Parts Limited AFT Singles. There's a look inside the Essence and Tent area. Bruner talking things over. Tommy Hayden right there. And don't forget to get your raffle tickets for A Bait of Illinois. Eight prizes up for grabs. The winning prize is a 2022 Harley Davidson. All right, while they do the track cleanup back there on that back straightaway, we'll take a quick break. We're right here in the first round of practice, Mission Springfield Mile, presented by Drag Specialties. We'll be right back. Cycle event, Daytona Bike Week. Bikes, beaches, and the 2024 American Flat Track season opener. The progressive American Flat Track season opener. A double header at Daytona International Speedway Short Track during Daytona Bike Week. The loyal. your queries be known. Yeah, hi. Instead of letting passengers wrap their arms around us, can we put little handles on our jackets? Deny. Can you imagine? I want a new nickname. Can you guys start calling me Snake? No, Brian. Denied. How about we all get quotes to see if we can save with America's number one motorcycle insurer? Approved. Cool. Hey, if Brian's not going to be Snake, can I be Snake? No. no. VP Racing Fuels. No matter what motorcycle you race or ride, amateur or pro, we have a fuel to make more power. 
Keep your bike running cool with VP Stay Frosty Coolant, available in two formulas. Race ready, designed to be glycol free and track approved, and high performance with freeze protection for street applications. Visit VPRacingFuels.com to learn more. Mobile View has been providing state-of-the-art LED video screens to sporting and special events throughout the U.S. and Canada since 1999. We use our vast experience of thousands of events to help guide the process of finding the right size screen to help make your event a memorable experience for your fans and sponsors. SBS is the official brake sponsor of Progressive American Flat Track, your single source of brake components for motorcycles, ATVs, and UTVs in racing, off-road, and for street use. Try the improved brake performance of the all-new SBS Better Brake Series. Find the brake pads, rotors, and clutch kits that match your bike on sbsbrakes.com. There's a reason why SBS is the preferred choice of street kings and race champions alike. Go ahead. Once again, for the 2023 season, all progressive American flat track classes are running the race-proven DT4 tire from Dunlop. Designed for pro and amateur riders alike, the DT4 has multiple compound options, an aggressive tread pattern, and can be run tubeless for greater overall performance. Dunlop, the official tire of progressive American flat track. Brought to you by Yamaha. On the track, on the trail, or out on the open road, check out Yamaha's full line of class-defining, adventure-seeking motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-side -side vehicles at YamahaMotorsports.com. Al Lamb's Dallas Honda is proud to sponsor the Singles Challenge. No holds barred, winner-takes-all dash for cash. The payout? A cool 2500 bucks. Al Lamb's Dallas Honda. Riding red since 1977. DallasHonda.com. Progressive is proud to be America's number one motorcycle insurer, protecting one out of every three insured riders. And they also offer coverage for your boat, RV, and other adventure vehicles. Quote motorcycle insurance online in as little as three minutes or bundle your insurance together today. Parts Unlimited, the people behind We Support the Sport, welcome you to this high action event. We are proud to join with race fans everywhere in working to ensure that our sport gets bigger and more exciting each season. And you too can support the sport by visiting your local dealer who stocks products from Parts Unlimited. They've got the very best in high performance parts and accessories and the best support network in the business. Parts Unlimited, we support the sport. When you think of a ride, you think of quality. When it comes to hitting the ground and, and protecting your head, I wouldn't wear anything else. The design of it is round and smooth, so when you're rolling through the dirt, your helmet doesn't catch the dirt and hurt your neck. Safety in flat track and motorsports in general is probably the biggest concern. Obviously, we're all here to win. At the end of the day, we're all concerned about our well-being, and for that, you want to have the, the best gear on it, you know? And for me, a ride is the best choice. Rev up to get fueled by mission as the world's most extreme dirt track riders and tastiest products come together to fuel your flavor. Fully loaded tacos, fast wraps, piled high nachos, whatever you crave, mission will help you be race ready with easy to make recipes that will take your race day to the finish line. Keep your racing delicious and enjoy all the mouth-watering action. Brought to you by Mission Foods. Too fast, too tasty. Drag Specialties, a major sponsor of today's action, welcomes Springfield race fans. At Drag Specialties, our commitment to riding is a way of life. That's why we want to remind you that when you're ready to tackle maintenance or add performance and style to your ride, make your first stop to a local dealer who stocks products from Drag Specialties. Drag Specialties, enjoy the races. Parts Unlimited welcomes racers and race fans to a high-performance day on the track. Like you, we can't resist the speed and the spectacle of top-level flat-track competition. We support the sport is not just our slogan, it's what we do. 24-7, 365 days a year, working to expand the sport in every possible way. Thanks for joining us at the Springfield Mile. And don't forget to support your dealer who stocks performance products from Parts Unlimited. Parts Unlimited, we support the sport.
Solar Fit, America's solar team, is a proud sponsor of American Flat Track Racing. Get your complimentary solar analysis today at AmericanFlatTrack.com slash SolarFit and let the sun power your home or business for free. Al Lamb's Dallas Honda is proud to sponsor the Singles Challenge. No holds barred, winner takes all dash for cash. The payout? A cool 2500 bucks. Al Lamb's Dallas Honda. Riding red since 1977. DallasHonda.com Castrol is the world's number one selling motorcycle oil brand and for over 120 years has pioneered the development of high-performance motorcycle oils. Castrol Power One Premium Full Synthetic Oil is proven to deliver superior power and acceleration at the touch of the throttle and Castrol Power One V-Twin Premium Full Synthetic Oil is tested in Harley-Davidson's and formulated to deliver the ultimate performance and protection in modern V-Twin engines. Stop by the Turner Racing Pits today. Meet the team and ask for Matt to learn more about Castrol's full line of motorcycle oils. Motion Pro is proud to provide you with innovative tools that help you maintain and repair your motorcycle, ATV, and UTV. Check into your local dealer to see their broad line of products used by professional racers and first-time riders alike. Or visit their website at motionpro.com. American Flat Track Championship season. Performance Audio. For almost 50 years, we've been rocking the planet with our world-class product covering everything that drives you, whether in your car, truck, boat, motorcycle, side-by-side, -side, or even on your head. Kicker Performance Audio's passion for bringing you your favorite music like you've never heard it before is what drives us. So wherever you need us, Kicker Performance Audio will be there for you. SBS is the official brake sponsor of Progressive American Flat Track, your single source of brake components for motorcycles, ATVs, and UTVs in racing, off-road, and for street use. Try the improved brake performance of the all-new SBS Better Brake Series. Find the brake pads, rotors, and clutch kits that match your bike on sbsbrakes.com. There's a reason why SBS is the preferred choice of street kings and race champions alike. Go ahead. Super 73 is an American lifestyle adventure brand based in Orange County, California, that develops products to help fuse motorcycle heritage with youth culture. Founded in 2016, Super 73 has quickly grown into one of the most recognizable electric vehicle brands in the world with a passionate customer base, including A-list celebrities, professional athletes, and many more. Klotz Synthetic Lubricants is proud to be the official lubricant of American Flat Track and eight-time AFT national champion Jared Meese. Family owned and made in America since 1959, Klotz has built its reputation by answering the call of racers and performance enthusiasts who won't settle for anything less than superior synthetic lubricants. Racers and performance buffs around the world rely on Klotz to get them to the checkered flag. Order today at klotzlube.com. KTM, ready to race.
Once again, for the 2023 season, all progressive American flat track classes are running the race proven DT4 tire from Dunlop. Designed for pro and amateur riders alike, the DT4 has multiple compound options, an aggressive tread pattern, and can be run tubeless for greater overall performance. Dunlop, the official tire of progressive American flat track. Whether amateur or pro, VP has a motorcycle fuel to make more power. Keep your race bike cool with Stay Frosty Race Ready Coolant and high performance formula for your street bike. Learn more at vpracingfuels.com. Drag Specialties welcomes race fans. At Drag Specialties, our commitment to riding is a way of life. That's why we want to remind you that when you're ready to tackle maintenance or add performance and style to your ride, make your first stop a local dealer who stocks products from Drag Specialties. Drag Specialties. Enjoy the races. Everything we do at the track shapes what we build for the street and the dirt. You can see how bad these guys want it. A race to the line. For us, racing is not for the trophies or the glory. We compete because it makes everything we do faster, more durable, and tested to a higher standard. For SNS, racing is the ultimate in proven performance, and we've been proving it since 1958. Unlimited welcomes racers and race fans to a high-performance day on the track. Like you, we can't resist the speed and the spectacle of top-level flat-track competition. We support the sport as not just our slogan, it's what we do. 24-7, 365 days a year, working to expand the sport in every possible way. Thanks for joining us at the Springfield Mile. And don't forget to support your dealer who stocks performance products from Parts Unlimited. Parts Unlimited, we support the sport. Castrol is the world's number one selling motorcycle oil brand and for over 120 years has pioneered the development of high-performance motorcycle oils. Castrol Power One Premium Full Synthetic Oil is proven to deliver superior power and acceleration at the touch of the throttle and Castrol Power One V-Twin Premium Full Synthetic Oil is tested in Harley-Davidson's and formulated to deliver the ultimate performance and protection in modern V-Twin engines. Stop by the Turner Racing Pits today. Meet the team and ask for Matt to learn more about Castrol's full line of motorcycle oils. And welcome back to the Mission Springfield Mile presented by Drag Specialties. Right now we're under a little bit of a delay. They're cleaning up uh, some oil that got laid down by the 149 by Treg and Bird song. Coming off of Tournament 2 right here, you're getting up to full speed. And in just a moment, you'll see where that speedy drive starts, right about where that scooter or that motorcycle is on that back straightaway. So they're trying to get that all cleaned up. We thought it was just on that back straightaway from where we were sitting. But as you can see, right here is where the bike probably let go. And then you're still up to full song right here. You start coasting, coasting, coasting. Well, if you didn't feel it, if the bike just starts leaking just a little bit, you're still going into the corner right here. So they're right on the groove. So they put some speedy dry down. They come out with a street sweeper, try to you know, dust it off as best they can. So in the meantime, they sent the bikes back to the pit area. You can see it's right here on the groove, now into three. And it looks like it stops right here as they go over the tunnel in turn number three and four, and that's about where the speedy drive stops. So they're trying to get that cleaned up. There's Steve Moorhead right here, and, uh, you know, he's checking to see how slick that is. He's dragging his foot. You know, if it's not slick to that shoe right there that he's dragging, then it should be okay. So hopefully the bikes will be back on the track here real soon. In the meantime, grab yourself something to eat or drink. Concession stands are wide open. Also, raffle tickets are available for Abate of Illinois. Get those while you can. That prize will be given away right before the singles main. There are eight prizes for that. Also, back on track has the raffle for the TTR 125 Yamaha, one of 50 that are here available in the United States right now. They just sent them over, and Yamaha graciously donated one to back on track to help injured riders. And get your, uh, get your raffle tickets while you can. Also, get your souvenir T-shirts. The event shirts are right outside the front gate. The AFT marketplace is out the front gate and down to the right. If you'd head down there towards turn number four, you could get those. So there's a lot going on out in front. 
And uh, Kicker Performance Audio is out there. A lot of cool vendors are out there. Lots of things happening outside the front gate. So we'll get back on the track just as soon as we can. Everybody's anticipating and anxiously waiting this last day. Round 18, Progressive American Flat Track here at the Mission Springfield Mile. We're going to take one more commercial break. Look how beautiful this racetrack is. We'll be right back. Bikes will be on the track here real soon. Second round of practice. Rev up to get fueled by Mission as the world's most extreme dirt track riders and tastiest products come together to fuel your flavor. Fully loaded tacos, fast wraps, piled high nachos, whatever you crave, Mission will help you be race ready with easy to make recipes that will take your race day to the finish line. Keep your racing delicious and enjoy all the mouth-watering action. Brought to you by Mission Foods. Too fast, too tasty. Sometimes you just don't need one of these. Sometimes all you really need is one of these. Rent whatever you need from people to do whatever it takes. Go to catrentalstore.com. Let's do the work. SNS Cycle was born from a passion for racing and has spent over 60 years building high performance for the power sports market. All the while, racing has remained at our core. From the Bonneville Salt Flats to championships in progressive American flat track, SNS is the go to for high performance on and off the racetrack. Tom Duma Fine Jewelers is proud to be the official jeweler for our 10th year to progressive American flat track, providing championship rings for each class in 2023. Tom Duma Fine Jewelers wants to be your jeweler. Check us out online for all your jewelry needs from engagement rings to fashion jewelry to watches in all price points to fit everyone's budget. Shop like a pro. Shop TDFJ.com. Once again, for the 2023 season, all progressive American flat track classes are running the race-proven DT4 tire from Dunlop. Designed for pro and amateur riders alike, the DT4 has multiple compound options, an aggressive tread pattern, and can be run tubeless for greater overall performance. Dunlop, the official tire of progressive American flat track. Back on track, a Rookies of 79 501c3 charity was established in 2009 by former racers to help injured racers get back on the racetrack or the track of life. Assistance is provided to injured racers through our posted schedule of benefits and special fundraising programs where 100% of your donation goes directly to ease the financial burden from an injury sustained on the racetrack. Please consider supporting injured racers by purchasing a 50-50 ticket at today's event. Check us out on the web at backontrack 79.com and donate today. Every donation is tax deductible and will make a difference in an injured racer's life. All right, bikes are back on track. Here they come. Second group, first round of practice for your parts limited AFT singles. There's a good battle out in front. 117 Landon Smith, that Smith kid, and the 91 Justin Jones. One from Florida, one from New York, and there's a good battle behind those two. Here they come onto the back straightaway, the 24 Hunter Bauer, the big RR Racing Honda. Group number two, round number one of practice. AFT singles. Looks like the riders are a little bit scared to run on that white line, and I don't blame them. I'd either go above it or below it myself. There's a 157 of Ian Wolf. Full speed on the front straightaway. There's the 216 Declan Bender going for the Mobile View Rookie of the Year. He's actually from Cooksville, Illinois, not too far from here. 106 Reese Podorf running with them. Kansas Rider in his first season. Quick time so far in the singles, 36.650. That was in the first group. Tom Drain, the bomber. Ralph and I are going to go shopping here in just a minute. Go we'll check out the uh, marketplace over there and see what they got for us. Hopefully, get some new merch. 
wear it during the offseason. There's Ian Wolf, the 157 from Ohio. Looks like Podor trying the low line. Got the two riders on the screen running up there right at the edge of the race line where it's kind of brushing up the racetrack. It did look like the uh, Tragen Birdsong did go to his backup motorcycle. He has uh, his last lap was his quickest lap, 37.907 on 149. So maybe his backup bike is just as strong as his primary bike. There's Bauer, the 24. Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. 55, Raggio, 91, Justin Jones. They're three wide. Hang on to it, Raggio. I got in there a little bit hot. Raggio doing it for Rackley Racing. We're trying to go three wide down the back straightaway. I think you need to kind of stay in line a little bit longer than that and then pull out of the draft right before you enter the corner. But they're just out here having some fun probably. They're still going three wide. They're trying to go three wide all the way around the track. You can see the turbulence, you know, off of these bikes. You know, that 55's front fender was just flapping around. Now you can see the tailpipes right there flapping around. So that's all the wind because they're going you know, so fast and they've got a big pocket of air created by the bikes in front of them. There's Bender tucked in as low as he can, coming off a of two. Eisenhard, the 166, is battling for that Rookie of the Year. He's currently uh, 25th quick, and the 216 Declan Bender is 22nd quick. So those are two that are still in it for the Mobile View Rookie of the Year. Checkered flag is out there. It's Jacob Vanquay. This is his first season as a pro. Checkered flag is out, so you go up there and play around a little bit, go to the high side. First round of practice is in the books for both classes. We're a little bit behind because of the oil spill. We'll try to play catch up in just a few moments. Ah. 216 and the 2 4 on their cool down lap. Tom Drain, quickest in our first round of practice on the Estenson Yamaha, 36.650. Track maintenance is up next. They'll put some more water on the racetrack after the entire first round. They can't do that in between rounds because it's not fair. You're trying to go out there and get equal time, so they have to do it after the uh, sessions are completed. The gate's opening up in just a moment. The uh, water truck, here it comes out of turn number four. Onto the racetrack. Beautiful day today. Looks like it's going to be just as warm as it was yesterday. There are a few clouds up there in the sky yesterday, but there was not one single cloud out there. We'll take a break. We come back. Second round of practice, Mission Super Twins. You will be up next. Parts Limited and Singles right after that. We'll be right back to the Springfield Mile. Cometa Gasket is the official gasket of American Flat Track. For decades, American Flat Track champions have depended on Cometic to seal their engines. Cometa Gaskets are the professional standard for racers who demand the very best. For more information, log on to Cometic.com. Cometic Gasket, sealing champions since 1989. 
Klotz Synthetic Lubricants is proud to be the official lubricant of American Flat Track and eight-time AFT national champion Jared Meese. Family owned and made in America since 1959, Klotz has built its reputation by answering the call of racers and performance enthusiasts who won't settle for anything less than superior synthetic lubricants. Racers and performance buffs around the world rely on Klotz to get them to the checkered flag. Order today at klotzlube.com. Mobile View has been providing state-of-the-art LED video screens to sporting and special events throughout the U.S. and Canada since 1999. We use our vast experience of thousands of events to help guide the process of finding the right size screen to help make your event a memorable experience for your fans and sponsors. Arai Helmet started racing in America in flat track, and we've been supporting it ever since. Arai, handcrafted with an obsessive dedication to rider protection. For more information, please visit our website, ariamericas.com. Rent tools and equipment from more than 70 leading brands, plus the full line of cat machines, big and small. The right equipment, the right technology, the right team. All right when and where you need it. Visit catrentalstore.com. Whether amateur or pro, VP has a motorcycle fuel to make more power. Keep your race bike cool with Stay Frosty Race Ready Coolant and high performance formula for your street bike. Learn more at vpracingfuels.com. This year sees Royal Enfield return for an all new season of Build Train Race and a big step forward for the Moto Anatomy powered by Royal Enfield team. For the first time, Royal Enfield steps into the premier class for a full season of AFT racing this time with a two-rider team. Meet the racers and check out the machines of both of Royal Enfield's groundbreaking programs. Light Shoe has been building quality steel shoes for flat track racers since 1998. They serve the flat track community worldwide, building custom hot shoes to fit individual needs with the rider's unique style in mind. With more than 25 years of experience and a one-year unconditional guarantee, You'll know you've made the right choice when your foot touches the ground going into turn one. Join the Light Shoe crew. You'll be glad you did. From the flat track, to the strip, to the street, it's ARP fasteners for your bike. If it's for show or for go, ARP makes the highest quality and most dependable fasteners with strength for performance and good looks. The speed demons of American flat track racing trust ARP for maximum clamping force that leads to victory lane. When failure is not an option, it's ARP-Bolts.com, no matter what you drive. DCT is an automatic transmission. You heard right, the Honda DCT is a fully automatic transmission for a motorcycle. It'll shift faster than you can at the right time, right speed, and right RPM. And when you want to shift for yourself, use paddle shifters mounted on the left handlebar. Take a DCT demo on a new Honda Africa Twin and other available models. Schedule your DCT demo right now at Al Lamb's Dallas Honda. Motion Pro is proud to provide you with innovative tools that help you maintain and repair your motorcycle, ATV, and UTV. Check into your local dealer to see their broad line of products used by professional racers and first-time riders alike, or visit their website at motionpro.com. by mission as the world's most extreme dirt track riders and tastiest products come together to fuel your flavor fully loaded tacos fast wraps piled high nachos whatever you crave mission will help you be race ready with easy to make recipes that will take your race day to the finish line keep your racing delicious and enjoy all the mouth-watering action brought to you by mission foods too fast too tasty
Al Lamb's Dallas Honda is proud to sponsor the Singles Challenge. No holds barred, winner takes all dash for cash. The payout, a cool 2500 bucks. Al Lamb's Dallas Honda, riding red since 1977. DallasHonda.com. Kicker Performance Audio is your fuel for living loud and a proud sponsor of American Flat Track, the original extreme sport. Now in our 50th year, Kicker has been the world leader in audio gear for cars, trucks, motorcycles, and America's roads. Kicker Audio is living loud. Once again, for the 2023 season, all progressive American flat track classes are running the race-proven DT4 tire from Dunlop. Designed for pro and amateur riders alike, the DT4 has multiple compound options, an aggressive tread pattern, and can be run tubeless for greater overall performance. Dunlop, the official tire of progressive American flat track. Lincoln Welders is the official welder of American Flat Track Racing. When it comes to welding, cutting equipment, and safety apparel, Lincoln Electric is the choice. Go to LincolnElectric.com for all your welding, cutting, and safety apparel needs. And remember to hashtag Weld Red with all your projects. From the flat track to the strip to the street, it's ARP fasteners for your bike. The speed demons of American Flat Track Racing trust ARP. When failure is not an option, it's ARP-Bolts.com. performance audio for almost 50 years we've been rocking the planet with our world-class product covering everything that drives you whether in your car truck boat motorcycle side by side or even on your head kicker performance audio's passion for bringing you your favorite music like you've never heard it before is what drives us so wherever you need us kicker performance audio will be there for you American Flat Track Championship Season. Rev up those taste buds with Mission Foods, a proud sponsor of AFT Super Twins. Mission Foods has mouth-watering snacks and easy-to-make recipes to fuel your race day. Now that's too fast, too tasty. From the flat track to the strip to the street, it's ARP fasteners for your bike. 
The speed demons of American flat track racing trust ARP. When failure is not an option, it's ARP-Bolts.com. Memphis Shades brings you a whole new level of style when it comes to motorcycle windshields and fairings. The quality, style, and selection set these products apart from the pack. Memphis Shades designs and builds all windshields, fairings, and hardware in-house. Raw materials in, finished goods out. Made in Memphis. Style that works. Super 73 is an American lifestyle adventure brand based in Orange County, California that develops products to help fuse motorcycle heritage with youth culture. Founded in 2016, Super 73 has quickly grown into one of the most recognizable electric vehicle brands in the world with a passionate customer base, including A-list celebrities, professional athletes, and many more. Two short years ago, Honda released the Rebel 1100, and for 2023, they're introducing the all-new Rebel 1100T, equipped with a large color-matched handlebar-mounted fairing and 35 liters of lockable storage. It's built for the open road. The standard and bagger models both start with a powerful twin-cylinder engine, so they sound as aggressive as they look. Head to a dealer to see the 2023 Honda Rebel 1100 and 1100T. Sideburn is the world's finest Go Fast Turn Left magazine. It's available to buy at Progressive AFT's Marketplace and is the official magazine of Progressive American Flat Track. For more information, visit sideburnmagazine.com. Solar Fit, America's solar team, is a proud sponsor of American Flat Track Racing. Get your complimentary solar analysis today at AmericanFlatTrack.com slash SolarFit and let the sun power your home or business for free. Whether amateur or pro, VP has a motorcycle fuel to make more power. Keep your race bike cool with Stay Frosty Race Ready Coolant and High Performance Formula for your street bike. Learn more at vpracingfuels.com. Street. It's ARP fasteners for your bike. If it's for show or for go, ARP makes the highest quality and most dependable fasteners with strength for performance and good looks. The speed demons of American flat track racing trust ARP for maximum clamping force that leads to victory lane. When failure is not an option, it's ARP-Bolts.com. No matter what you drive. Hello and welcome back to the capital of Illinois, the fastest mile on the AFT circuit. I'm Kristen Beat. And I'm Heather DeBeau. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm Jason Andrews here with Brad Jones. Hi guys, how are you? We, we swapped into the truck. Uh, we're gonna let Scotty Hi Sable. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna call the shots today. Yeah, just oh the trucks are pulling off. It's a good day. It's a good day. Fans, you ready for this? It is a beautiful day in the land of Lincoln. I had picked one of those yellow trucks to win the the qualifying laps. So that's pretty good. I was thinking the guy in the uh, the white Dodge Ram might do pretty well today. So I figure from a weight issue, he's you know, got a chance, right? He's got a chance. He's got a fighting chance he's today. Got, I like the red truck. The, the red, red truck's not got bad. A now shot, he's down in the championship standings. He is. So he's got a, He's got some work to do to come back. He so. had to get off at the last round, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. I believe Robbie is uh, leading the points for uh, <laughs> AFT vehicles on the on the track. On the year. track, yes. right? He's yes. got more laps than any racer. Well, Steve Moorhead is. Oh yeah. 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 He's well trafficked. <laughs> 
Um, he also leads all of American flat track in um, turtle movement. Turtle movement. Turtle, turtle movement. movement. You know yeah. it was great? We didn't have uh, – Turtles were good. I think uh, Kentucky, we always get groundhogs. We got a couple groundhogs out there, um, yeah. but but nothing, That's nothing also, too serious. We call Zach Prescott groundhog too, right? Well, I mean, for good reason. So, Zach, our production manager. <laughs> Zach, I'm a groundhog Prescott. <laughs> I don't... Do you think this is going well? Uh, yeah. Well, we'll see. I don't you know. know, I don't know. We'll see what's we'll see what's say. happening. Yeah, <laughs> it always it always goes better when there's bikes on track. It's something for us to look at. Yeah, so. there's nothing going on right now. See, this is all empathy right now yeah. because I don't. Um, you know, they only let us call uh, call the races when there's not actually bikes on the track. Yeah, that's yeah. What, we're good at that. We're really good at that. <laughs> we might, that really might be the good best that. thing we do. <laughs> I'm good at hosting banquets. Who's got the best looking uh, setup out there in the uh, in the pits? Do you think? Right. Well, I don't know. They went away from it. I from saw a, from a prestige uh, kind of aspect. Uh, I would I would have to go with the Estenson. You team. like that? It, it's you nice. like that setup? It's I'm clean. very organized myself. Okay. So it's very clean. It's very organized. They have a very good system. And they have a bunch of bikes, right? And they uh, have a bunch of. It looks nice. Yeah, it looks yeah, really yeah. nice. Okay, I'll go with that. I'm it, a little partial to yeah. the. Turner set up. Um, oh, those yeah. guys look like they're having a lot of fun down there. I'm telling you, they're buttoned up, though, yeah. too, right? Like, they are, as well. What yeah. was the uh, term I learned yesterday? Drippy. Drippy? Drippy. Okay. They are, uh, they're definitely drippy. And here's, uh, you know, we still have a championship to wrap up this week. I know, uh, I know this isn't the uh, melodic sounds of Scott Dubler and Ralph Shaheen, but uh, you get what you get right now. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're we're excited. You know, we're giving those guys a little bit of rest so that yep. they can, you know, they can be amped up later this afternoon. Absolutely, so. absolutely. And that's and the guy right there who uh, he's leading the points. He, he's he's really amazing. I, I remember uh, I've been around this sport a long time, and I remember when he was a kid coming up. And and some things I remember. I remember him um, learning a lot from Chris Carr, which I think is uh, is pretty cool like you see those guys glom on to people and learn and then the fact that he's out there teaching he's uh, been chase chase yeah. sat off now i really it, like is, that and i think for chris you got to feel like if you help jared out there's a bit of your soul now in chase sat off right yeah, yeah, yeah exactly exactly yeah i like to see the older guys kind of taking the younger guys under their wing and yeah you know. it's it's all good okay we got bikes on the track right all now right. here goes nothing right Practice two for the Mission Super Twins today. I wonder if we'll have any surprises of uh, fast times out there. What What was your biggest surprise yesterday? What surprised you the most? Um, honestly, not in Super Twins, but the fact that Cody Cop went down and, and won the race. Um, he hadn't done well on Mal's in the last two years, right? And yeah. the fact that he came out and won that, I mean... The finish is phenomenal. Oh, I, phenomenal. Like, yeah. Yeah. So cool. It's almost storybook, right? So cool. How's Scotty do this? He goes, uh, we got Jared Mees from from Florida. Sebastian, <laughs> Sebastian Florida. Florida. Right. The right. jammer. Here we go. Oh, man. And uh, you know what? Um, oh, that's a good pack. Briar, Briar was amazing yesterday, too. Man, I tell you what, Brandon Robinson was on fire at the start of the main yesterday. Well, he had such a bad start. But then came, came out of no, strong. and then, yeah. man, he was railing around the outside. It was truly amazing to see him. It was a bit of a different uh, Springfield mile yesterday than, than we've seen in years past. Absolutely. And uh, Jared talked about it. It seems like they've got more of the pack mentality going on here today. Oh, yeah. Um, Look at them. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're <laughs> Look, Johnny Lewis there. He's, you got he's guys creeping down on the low. Inside. You got yeah. guys using the high. You got Briar. Briar always tends to gravitate towards the higher group. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, the track looks definitely racy today. Yeah, well, they just put down some water and calcium. So I mean, I only I only look at races. I don't. I've never been on the <laughs> racetrack myself, except on a Super Seventy Three. So I can't really help you out there. But or a rental car. Track, you know, after the, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, we can mess the track up after they're done, right? Yeah. So this so, is our pack up front, right? This yeah. is kind of where we were yesterday. This is nice. So the the great camera work you're seeing, man. This this crew of camera ops, uh, I believe on camera three, Tony. This is would be his fifteenth fifteen hundredth Springfield mile. I mean, yeah. I'm just guessing. I'm, I'm throwing that number out there. there. I have nothing to verify that. Mies is still fast time here. Yeah, the three five seven six eight. Oh, B Rob. 
B Rob back at it today. Getting back at it. David Fisher up hey, there. Uh, best, uh, probably, probably my big surprise yesterday was as good of the impersonation of Borat that Brandon Robinson pulled out. That so was good. nice. That was really so, nice. So good. Yeah. yeah. That, that was the surprise of the day was the Borat impression. That and yeah. uh, Briar. Briar was right there. Briar, um, Jared even said afterwards that uh, Briar was real close to breaking him, you know breaking out and getting away and then uh, Jared was able to pull him back in but Briar was a good surprise yesterday and be really nice to see him win as well. I agree. Uh, I mean right any, now. honestly as long as these guys get off the track safe. Oh, that's I'm that, happy, that's right? the most important thing right you know? we'll se we will settle a championship today. Absolutely. Regardless, Absolutely. So. And and man the fact you know for people at home you don't understand we get to know these riders so we're all close to them. It's and like a traveling circus yeah, for us. <laughs> yeah. We are the circus. It's a big yes. family. You know, we all get to know each other and travel with each other. And, yeah. you know, we pick on each other and love each other. And, you mm -hmm. know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's good. You know, but we will close the book on the 2023 season. Today, yeah. So. It's almost sad thinking about this is going to be the last yeah, time. Last uh, white school. flag is flying. Mies is still at the top here. So uh, you got Davis Fisher yeah. back in fifth. He he creeps right around there yeah. all the time. That's his spot, right? So Vanderkoy yesterday uh, on the KTM this weekend, yeah. he, he, which for Jesse Janish would have been on that machine. Absolutely. And then he got injured, so yep. Vanderkoy's on it. He um he was in the LC Twins LCQ yesterday. Absolutely, but you so, know he finished eighth, right? Yeah. And and if there's a place you can get a bad start and come up through the pack, it's, it's here, it's, right? It's here. Yeah. It's Springfield. Yeah, you could start on the back row at Springfield and work your way up. As long as you don't lose the draft off that main pack, checks, you're, you're in it. Checks, we're done with that practice session. Um, no surprises really there, right? Uh, uh, ben you, Lau, maybe eight yeah, yeah. fastest. You know, Bronson, Bronson, Bronson seven. Bronson's been doing all right. Um, yeah. Cam Smith had a good run yesterday. That's another surprise. Cam Smith had a good run yesterday like in the, in the heat well. race. Yeah, me too. There's, you know, you, you, you always... You see the main guys up top, you know, week in and week out. But we, we like to see some of the other some of the other names pop up on the on the timesheet. Absolutely, know? absolutely. And and man, you know what? Um, we love seeing people and and that second group go out and do well, right? Always. Like, like we we A cheer for name, Cody uh, John Cox, right? I, like he's been around for so long. And then um, Kevin Crowther, our uh, our COO. He was CCO. We'll just say yeah. he runs stuff. Kevin Crowther. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, uh, he had brought up in one of our production meetings several weeks back. He's Cody John Cox. He's been. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's been around for quite some time. So yeah. you like to see those names pop up. Yeah, so. absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, you know, Nick Armstrong, right? Yeah. And it's nice to see those guys transition from the production twins to yeah. the super twins. Yeah, they, yeah. they just kind of kept well, it going. Some of those guys last year, you know, they would. Um, I don't be able know to race their is. way in. If you were one of the top finishers in production twins, you had the option to race in the super twins main. And some of those guys did very, very well. So it was nice to see, you know, nice to see some new names up there. All right. So we got group number two coming out for super twins. Uh, Billy Ross, Casey Cisco, Ryan Wells, Jeffrey Lowry, Brandon Price, Nick Armstrong. What, what does Scotty call Brandon? He calls him uh, All In, right? All In. All In. He's a gambler. Yes. What would that be better, right? The gambler? The gambler. Can we give nicknames like Scotty gives nicknames I am, Let me tell you something. I am working on <laughs> handing out some nicknames this season, okay? <laughs> My uh, The nickname that I've worked on the most is uh, in the singles. And Tom gave... Drain, the plumber. <laughs> the okay? Pl I'm putting it out there. What's that? Uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of good Tom Drain merchandise uh, that we could pull off with the plumber nickname. The plumber. You know, you put it like, you know, you see those uh, T-shirts printed where it looks like somebody's wearing yeah, a yeah. bikini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little plumber's crack maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like the plumber. You got the plumber, dude. Yep. I got you. I got he's you. running back fourth or fifth, you know, today and goes to the. There's Nick Armstrong. Goes to the front. He's unclogging the drain. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. And because they race in a roundy round. But, you know, in, in uh, Australia, the the swirl in the toilet goes the other, way. the other Is way. Is it counter, yeah. right? It's right? counterclockwise. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't know. That's I don't know. I'm just happy. I just hope the toilets in uh, Australia work better than the ones in the hotel <laughs> stop, we're stop. at. So. <laughs> Here we go. They're coming around. Uh, what's Ralph's line? First lap at anger. At I, anger. At anger. And if you're in the front of the truck and things aren't working, it's all in anger <laughs> for us. So. 
All right. So uh, let's see. Is there a lot going on here? Uh, yeah, well, we'll see. Nick see Armstrong here. seems to be Nick, fastest Nick on track right now. Nick is the right fastest. Now. He's yeah. at the back of the pack yeah. there, Todd, if you want to focus on him. He was kind of. Oh, we're, oh, look at Brad producing from the <laughs> announcer booth. This is beautiful. Yeah, he's one of the last bikes there. It's a good looking track today. Hi. Oh, oh, do you have your phone? Yeah. Okay. I see my wife pointing at her. Uh, Let's see what she's in trouble. Click the Dunlop. <laughs> so I normally run replay at the front end of the truck, and so if I'm back here, they're all, well, how do we do this? <laughs> what buttons do we press? <laughs> hit them all. Yeah, hit them all. You hit just, every button until it works. Just start clicking on things. Just hit it all. Yeah. What you do is you just point at it yeah, yeah. and hope for the best. You know, that's how you do that. Exactly. Uh, yeah, Nick Armstrong still out there doing. Cameron Smith, uh, not too bad. But he was in the, was he in, is he out there in this one? Um, that's an excellent question. We'll see. We'll yeah, yeah. Cody Johncox up there in 15th, though. That's good. That's our guy. We yeah. were talking about him I earlier. I see Tanner Dean out yeah. there. Jeremiah Duffy. The gambler, the Brandon gambler, Bryce. right? Yeah. See, that's a whole lot better than I, uh, you know. As all a big, in. as someone who loves Kenny Rogers, uh, you know, right? yeah, we could switch Kenny Rogers to the Chicken Man. <laughs> yeah, I'm the Kenny Rogers Roasters. No, that was yeah, yeah that was chicken. a whole whole that thing. should have taken off a little bit better. I, I feel yeah. as well too, uh, man. But I'm a, like, look at these guys in a pack, isn't it? So like, I'm a stick and ball guy, but when I see stuff like uh, this on the screen, it kind of takes it away. But when you're looking at it live, it's the most amazing thing that they're able to run in those packs cleanly so just outside of turn one is where our production truck is so just to the left of this shot here and so we can go out there and get right up by the fence and watch these guys come by and it is look at that there's, it is amazing there's eight guys in a pack yeah right there. it's so cool and they are flying and i tell you if if I, I don't know i mean typically the people that are at home watching qualifying are are addicted to it like we are but if you've never been to one of these you gotta come like it's springfield's great. amazing too. yeah yeah some of my best memory now they there was four wheels instead of two wheels but i used to go to the uh, the local dirt track when i was a kid with my uh, my dad my grandfather some of the best memories i have growing up you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 I shout out to the now defunct I-20 Speedway <laughs> where they do it in the dirt. It was the best tagline. <laughs> yeah. That, that it no longer exists. So support your local racetracks, guys. That that's the the, so, the so moral th of this. Story. So that's practice number two in the books, right? In that Super okay. Twins practice. Two, that's a Scotty line. Right? No, yeah. in, the in the books. In the books. Uh, they're next done. Up would they're, be the they're, singles. They're done running in anger. I'm they're, told. They're, they're, they're back down to just <laughs> you know regular humility at just, this point. Yeah, no anger. We'll go with slightly humility. upset. Yeah. This is a slightly upset laugh. Mildly here. irritated. <laughs> Mildly irritated. No, no, no. We'll I stay. believe singles should yeah, be. Yeah, singles should be. Soon. Yeah, they're Let's in hope. staging right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. don't worry. We will. Hey, what a cool scene. We we had a really cool scene yesterday. It's always nice. Uh, there's there's two things I love being at a track for. One, someone makes their first feature, right? They they make it to the main event, and um, when someone's um, someone wins their very first feature. And then the third thing I love being at is like when people win a championship. Yes. You know, and it's always cool seeing the emotion of that stuff is amazing because there's so much, so much hard work put into this stuff. And, you know, these guys are celebrating championships. I mean, Cody went to a prom this year. Yeah. I don't know if you were racing for anything of national importance. I, when you, you I wasn't <laughs> really doing a whole lot of national importance when, in high school. Yeah, it's so cool. We, uh, my wife and I had walked down to the paddock uh, this morning and saw Chase. Uh, sat off and she's like, man, these guys are so young, you know. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I'm like, yeah, I mean, you know, I've got kids that are roughly their age. Roughly right? their yeah, age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you got these guys out here racing for, for championships. And, I, and, you know, listen, whether if, if, if Jared wins his ninth championship or Dallas wins his first, man, does this, these guys are so excited. Uh, every single time, and they should be. They've worked so hard to, to get to this point. So, hey, Sable, Will's gonna break whatever he's touching right yeah, now. Yeah, just so. just keep Will off those machines, Sable. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's doing. The cameras look get yeah. great, guys. Oh yeah, man, Coast up front, the California kid, which is why I pronounce it Cose. Cose, yes, right? When you're in Southern California, it's Chad Cose. Cose, right? Yeah, yeah. What other nicknames can we? Uh, 
can we? The new one I'm 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 so really gonna work on is Chainsaw Chase Sadoff. Chainsaw. Yeah. Right? CS, That's like Chase wrestler. Yeah. We need more wrestler kind of. I name. love them. Yeah. He, oh, the gambler! Here, here comes the chainsaw! Oh man! Through hey, uh, there's a good replay motion there, but you're back here. I'm with back me. here. They have. There was no a idea. little bit of a hole yeah. out coming out of four there. I have the utmost confidence man. in Sable that she could roll a replay. And she looks busy. And these three right here—they were spectacular yesterday. Oh my gosh! These right? guys put on a show yesterday. Man, the, yeah. amazing. These three guys right here, sat up. Set off was kind of my. I, I thought he might get his first win here in Springfield, so he's got another chance today. Uh, man, Sadoff has been so close so many times this year. Right? They had some. Uh, I'll say, Cop and Sadoff have had some really good battles this oh, year. Oh man! Well, you know, it's crazy too because we, we don't have bias, right? No. Or, or we should never show bias. <laughs> the, the, the thing I pull for is a good race yeah. and a good show for everybody. Yeah. But when you get that close so many times, you want to you see, see you somebody, wanna... yeah, be able to taste that that sweet taste of victory. Absolutely. I yeah. mean, I mean, look oh, at man, these look guys at too. I I can't even imagine being out there on those bikes, right? And they're doing roughly the same times as the Super Twins. Yeah. On a little bit lighter bike. And, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and Tom Drain stepping on the stage this year too. Oh for, man. For for you people, twelve hours ahead of us right yes. now. Um, or in the man. stands as as the contingent of. Yeah. Uh, if if they're as good as Tom and Maxwell are, keep sending them. Oh right? my God. We'll, well take, hey, we'll the, take them all. The two Aussies, top of the charts right now. Yeah, Tom absolutely. Drain, Maxwell. Yeah, we'll take them. I so I'd ask more. Uh, I'd ask these guys. I'd ask Max. You know, say, hey, what's a good tagline for? American flat track. He's like two Aussies and the rest are American. <laughs> like, I like it. But yeah, man, we love uh, Troy Bayless. Troy is one of the nicest people you'd ever meet. And we loved when he came and raced. I'll tell you what, you got Mishler back up in yeah. third. Hey, he had a good run yesterday. He had a good run yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. the fact that he was in the uh, the dash it was such a good thing for him. Yeah. Well, oh, look at that pack. Oh, it's so wow. crazy. That is amazing. Look at that. Look That's at like that. everybody in the paddock they're on the going, track in one going turn. They're eight wide into turn one. You can't even practice like that. No. That is crazy. All right, guys, remember, this is practice, not qualifying. Yeah, everybody okay, uh, this is not a heat. Like, that's amazing. Oh, like, man. I'm scared right now. Oh, my word. Well, it's the last race of the 2023 season. You got to let it all oh, hang out. Oh, my God. This is not a race. Oh, my goodness. It's, Look at these guys. And, guys, if this is how practice is going to be, it is gonna I be, am yeah. excited for the for the feature. Listen, don't, don't, don't hold anything back today. If you've got anything left in the tank, let it let it go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and that, man, there man, it is. Sadly, it's over right it is tom drain the plumber the plumber tom drain <laughs> fastest in practice too he circled the drain on that he one. sure did and uh followed by his he uh, hung back countryman. and it was on time to unclog the drain <laughs> and then uh his fellow Maxwell. countryman yeah yeah michler third michler third fastest Sat chase off. fourth trent low trent low i i thought uh would have had some stuff for him yesterday trent low has well. run well this year yeah, yeah, yeah. he's had some good runs this year couple, wins. couple wins it was nice yeah. seeing, once again talking about uh nice seeing people win it was really nice having uh, Trent win earlier this year. Coase in eighth, James Ott in ninth, Travis Petten in tenth. Travis has had some good runs this he year has, as well. Yeah, Shayna was back there a little bit. Yeah, Shayna, yeah. but you know, man, she's got a her knee injury. And again, it's practice. And, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. What's the, what's it's, the line? I right. She said it's a torn MCL. It's, it's practice. Practice. It's practice. It's just practice. Just practice. Just practice. Yeah. And again, some of those some of those guys. Um, I don't want to say inflated times necessarily, but when you're running in a pack, and you get the draft. You can, yeah, yeah. You can you can pick up a little bit of speed. And so. it and it all depends on where you pick everything up. Uh, all right, group two coming out for the AFT singers. <laughs> so the. Uh, so the uh, consensus on you and I being in here was I've I've heard way worse. Yeah. I don't know if that's uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's good compared or not. to what I'm not yeah, sure. Exactly. But, you know. Yeah. Hey, we're having a good time. That's all that matters. Uh, yeah. Give them to us. We'll we'll respond directly to the I internet will respond comments. Respond directly to <laughs> who are these clowns? <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but he reminds me of a man, young Dave Despain's. Uh, Rough yeah. redneck neighbor. Absolutely. See, I didn't. I, I didn't. Used, I, I set up the display, but then I followed it with you, his neighbor came, Carl. Came from, with something different, yeah. right? Carl. Hey. 
Who let Fry Lord and Carl? We call have them? a good time. Man, there's another pack. Look at this. Amazing. These guys are having a good time. You know, I would say there's, there, you know, you have a little bit more comfort with the track after being out there yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, but again, I'm sure the track is and, it's different today. And right in the middle of there, uh, Declan Bender, he set yeah. himself up to uh, have a good run there at the Rookie of the Year Championship. That's a that's a really good thing. I saw the boss Gene Crouch come in. You think he'd like to join us back here? No, he would think? probably. He was probably just wondering what was going on and why we were in. Here. I like I like watching yeah, everything happen here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Gene. <laughs> Hi, Gene. Yes. Hi, Gene. It's very important. It's a very yeah. important thing here. Yes. It falls off a bit at the end of the season, <laughs> but, you know. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, look at these guys. They're literally racing. I mean, oh, I, yeah. I, and, you know, when I first started in this and they would put singles out on the mile, you would be nervous the entire time. These guys here are, are well seasoned professionals. Now, Absolutely. Right? Yeah. These guys are so. Oh, man. Justin Jones getting a little loose there on out of two there. Little I see a little bit of a little bit of head shake here and there. So we hear Larry Pegram's at home watching uh, watching us do this. We'd like to say hello to the worm. We the worm. You. We miss you. You'll be at Coda next weekend at the Superbike races. I'm not sure we saw you at the flat tracks this year at all. Yeah. Trying to remember. I don't remember seeing Larry. I guess we're not that I guess he's not that much of a friend of us. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We'd love to see you, Larry. Just, yeah. You know, don't forget your roots. Yeah. Hey, yeah. and uh there's a. I'll, here's another bad nickname. Kill switch. Kills. I don't yeah, get that. Don't yeah, we know. gotta come up with yeah, a better come one. Up with a we better gotta come up with yeah. No, yeah. worst <laughs> the bad nickname giver, Scotty Dubler. I love you, but oh my god. <laughs> I'm just going to start contributing to the next. I feel I feel like the the other talent members are having issues with us sitting. Yeah, they're like, the hey, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ah, yeah. Kill switch. What are Kill you talking switch. about? That's what do we call? <laughs> <laughs> Little coy. Little coy. We need, yeah, we need something. Yeah, we can come up with some. Come on, we can come up. With we got to think names. about it. Yeah. Right? You think Scotty sits around at home thinking about nicknames for these guys? Or what? All right, so my theory on the nicknames is proximity to porcelain, right? You always have your best ideas when you're in the bathroom. Not necessarily you. Is that it, how like, the plumber came about? I was, I, well, uh, chainsaw for Chase Adam. Uh, I took a shower, and you're and like, I was, and I was like, ah, oh, it hit man, me because you have time to think in there. Bender you know? up front, lead the pack. Man, he was up in third. He got the second yesterday. Yeah. That was a surprise. You yes. asked me about surprises. That was a that was a really nice surprise because you know what? You got to learn how to lead Absolutely. before you win, right? Absolutely. You just don't come out and win. You got to learn how to be in that lead yeah. pack. And know. then people like Chase Sadoff now, he's got to learn how to win. And I think that I think that he's been up front enough eventually. Yeah. Well, chainsaw. Oh, let me change chainsaw. it. Chainsaw. Yes. He's got to get a win. Once he gets that win, I think it's going to be wide open. Good. I don't oh, know. I like this. Chase it says chainsaw. on air. I'm yeah. not sure you're allowed in here. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're, do we need to lock the door? Christmas? Hey, guys, chainsaw is not going to stick. Uh, I <laughs> beg to differ because I'm going to make it stick. Dubler's over there reading his text. But we getting killed or no? <laughs> Well, they haven't kicked us out yet. Yeah, guys, well, so we locked like the door. So at least until we go to commercial well, We break. just locked <laughs> the door. So you, it's going to be tough. It's We're having a sit tough. in. If you hear pounding, <laughs> if you hear pounding, uh, they're trying to get us it. off the mic. That's it yeah. there for that. Um, that is group number two. Hunter Bauer led that group. Yep, fastest on track. Tyler Raggio, Declan Bender, third in that Justin group. Justin Jones, yeah. There. Bird Song, Eisenhard, Smith, and Kill Switch. Kill Switch. You got to say it like that, though, yeah. right? Oh man, what a beautiful. I've spent, I've spent a lot of my life. Oh, I've spent a lot of my life here at this place, and uh, it always brings uh, good memories to me every time I'm here. My first flat track race was here at Springfield. Yeah. Hey, we really would like a uh, uh, a meme, right? Yeah. I feel like. Yeah. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> we look. I, we look like we've been on the road quite a bit this year. <laughs> we normally look like we have showered and taken care of ourselves. Yeah. But, last night. Yeah. We actually showered under the uh, yeah the water truck. Yeah. it's the calcium that <laughs> it's good for your skin. Makes you look yeah. good, yeah. right? Holds we don't the moisture. We don't need uh, 
We don't need uh, any of that uh, oh, we don't need lotion that. to yeah. make our skin rejuvenated. The calcium rub chloride. A little, rub yeah. a little bit of clay in there and, you know, calcium chloride, you're good to go. No, but I'll be honest with you. I love coming here. Um, there's a handful of tracks I really, really like going to. Lima is one of those ones, too. It's such a, a one-off place. Um, uh, Where was your first flat track race? My first flat track race was um, here, 1998, okay. and we were doing the um, we were doing the uh, flat track Hall of Fame at that time. So on the infield, hey, uh, right about where drone the drone shot is, if the drone could spin around, um, if the drone takes a hard left there, Todd, yeah, if on the infield there there was a huge tent up inside, we'd do a big breakfast. And then, like, they're doing the banquet. And then it was also, um, there were two national or two national races and an outlaw race, right? So there was a uh, uh, two grand national races. And then on Sunday or on Monday, I take it back, on Labor Day, they had a, uh, they had a Hall of Fame race. Okay. Right? And so you had a chance to see three miles. One year to Spain. Um, Despain had a thing. They were passing out these stickers that said, I'll help, I'll help pay 100 k and the purse was $100,000 that year. You know, that wasn't to the winner, but yeah. it was to... Spread, yeah, yeah, spread out, but yeah. What? Rainbow. What? Oh, yeah, you uh, see the uh, rainbow? Oh, Look man. at that beautiful rainbow. Chasing the pot of gold there? Oh, wow. They're just itching to get back in here, Look at that. They just are. Well, we'll make them wait. Here. They got plenty. I think, I think They've had all season in this booth. I know. It's our I know. time They design, spread their you know? rhetoric. Look at that. We've come up with a couple good nicknames, right? The I chainsaw. believe so. I, I like haven't chainsaw. done any, but I'm like going to ride, ride on your coattails, yeah. I do believe. You absolutely. Yeah. Trent I, Lowe says he doesn't want a nickname. Lowrider. Lowrider, but he doesn't want one. What's that? Um, Dude, listen, Dale Blaney. Dale Blaney, he's a, he's a cousin. Yeah, he's from Hartford. They own the old Sharon Speedway out there and all that stuff. You know, the cool thing, we went to Sharon that one year, and um, their dad, Lou Blaney, was out grooming the track. And I thought that was one of the cooler things. Now, the, the track didn't end up. It was a rough night. Um, but it had nothing to do with him grooming it. It was a weather thing. But I was always like, hey, man, that's, uh, that's pretty cool that Lou Blaney, Dave and Dale. And then uh, – Dale Blaney played basketball at West Virginia University. He was a guard. Now, he ain't as tall as me. He's tall. And I will tell you this about Dave Blaney is when Dave Blaney, after uh, um, Nikki's accident, I was out at the, um, I was out at Eldora and uh, for the uh, Kings Royal. And um, I go by Dave's pit and he's got Nikki stickers on his wing. I thought that was as classy of a thing. As, uh, as I've seen in a while. Um, it looks like we're done filling time, maybe. Um, Todd, are we going to commercial? Anybody sitting in that seat right now? Hey, Pero, are we going to All commercial? All right, no? look at that. Oh, I guess we can't. Uh, no, I mean, oh, we're just hanging out. Um, any other topics we want to talk about? What do we got? Uh, but, yeah, yeah, like right off to the left, there was a big tent, so we had a breakfast, and that's where, like, my history of flat track began. Once again, stick and ball guy. I got to meet, like, I sat at the table with Joe Leonard, and, man, I fell in love with that guy. He, he did everything. When you shook his hand, it felt like he was ripping your arm off. Um, finished second in the in, Indy 500. Uh, Three-time uh, three Grand National Champion, I think. A bunch of, bunch of cool stuff that Joe Leonard did. And then from that, I got to know all those guys. Everett Brashear. Um, I mean, Gary Nixon to me, and I, I, I mean, uh, the guy that I worked with in Atlanta and Gary Nixon were best friends. So I have, uh, we had all these, uh, um, when I was, when I was young in television, we had, um, all the archives from Gary Nixon's, like all his films from the day and stuff like that. And like him playing around with big IndyCar drivers at the time and stuff like that, they would all hang out with, uh, Nixon. So it was, it was Pretty cool thing. Pretty cool thing. Well, uh, listen, if you ever come to a flat track race, it's going to get in your blood, and you're going to be hooked for life yeah. because that's that's what happened to pretty much all of us. So. Yeah, I had a good career path going, and then I ended up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then you ended up here. Yeah, yeah. No, I love yeah, it. Worst I love places it. To I go, love it, right? I love yeah. every bit of it. I bring my kids, and yeah, me it's too. a great place to come. Me too. All right, so practice is in the books. We've got qualifying, two rounds of qualifying for twins, two rounds of qualifying for singles coming up. Um, that will be 
right here. Um, remember, combined best time gets you into uh, your qualifying. Good. I so. hear music. That means we're going to break. We're going the to break The legendary here. Springfield Mile getting ready to close the books on the 2023 season. Thank you for joining us today on Fans Choice. If you have any good nicknames, please submit them. Please submit those. Scotty online. needs we'll help. Scotty right. needs help. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks for uh, dealing with us. Yeah. All right. We'll have the regular people back when we come back. Bye. Progressive American Flat Track Championship season. Rev up those taste buds with Mission Foods, a proud sponsor of AFT Super Twins. Mission Foods has mouth-watering snacks and easy-to-make recipes to fuel your race day. Now that's too fast, too tasty. From the flat track to the strip to the street, it's ARP fasteners for your bike. The speed demons of American flat track racing trust ARP. When failure is not an option, it's ARP-Bolts.com. Memphis Shades brings you a whole new level of style when it comes to motorcycle windshields and fairings. The quality, style, and selection set these products apart from the pack. Memphis Shades designs and builds all windshields, fairings, and hardware in-house. Raw materials in, finished goods out. Made in Memphis. Style that works. Super 73 is an American lifestyle adventure brand based in Orange County, California that develops products to help fuse motorcycle heritage with youth culture. Founded in 2016, Super 73 has quickly grown into one of the most recognizable electric vehicle brands in the world with a passionate customer base, including A-list celebrities, professional athletes, and many more. Two short years ago, Honda released the Rebel 1100, and for 2023, they're introducing the all-new Rebel 1100T, equipped with a large, color-matched handlebar-mounted fairing and 35 liters of lockable storage. It's built for the open road. The standard and bagger models both start with a powerful twin-cylinder engine, so they sound as aggressive as they look. Head to a dealer to see the 2023 Honda Rebel 1100 and 1100T. Sideburn is the world's finest Go Fast Turn Left magazine. It's available to buy at Progressive AFT's Marketplace and is the official magazine of Progressive American Flat Track. For more information, visit sideburnmagazine.com. Solar Fit, America's solar team, is a proud sponsor of American Flat Track Racing. Get your complimentary solar analysis today at AmericanFlatTrack.com slash SolarFit and let the sun power your home or business for free. Whether amateur or pro, VP has a motorcycle fuel to make more power. Keep your race bike cool with Stay Frosty Race Ready Coolant and high performance formula for your street bike. Learn more at vpracingfuels.com. <laughs> flat track to the strip to the street it's arp fasteners for your bike if it's for show or for go arp makes the highest quality and most dependable fasteners with strength for performance and good looks the speed demons of american flat track racing trust arp for maximum clamping force that leads to victory lane when failure is not an option it's arp-bolts.com no matter what you drive
DCT is an automatic transmission. You heard right, the Honda DCT is a fully automatic transmission. For a motorcycle, it'll shift faster than you can at the right time, right speed, and right RPM. And when you want to shift for yourself, use paddle shifters mounted on the left handlebar. Take a DCT demo on a new Honda Africa Twin and other available models. Schedule your DCT demo right now at Al Lamb's Dallas Honda. Everything we do at the track shapes what we build for the street and the dirt. You can see how bad these guys want it. A race to the line. For us, racing is not for the trophies or the glory. We compete because it makes everything we do faster, more durable, and tested to a higher standard. For SNS, racing is the ultimate in proven performance, and we've been proving it since 1958. MobileView has been providing state-of-the-art LED video screens to sporting and special events throughout the U.S. and Canada since 1999. We use our vast experience of thousands of events to help guide the process of finding the right size screen to help make your event a memorable experience for your fans and sponsors. Brought to you by Yamaha. On the track, on the trail, or out on the open road, check out Yamaha's full line of class-defining, adventure-seeking motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-side -side vehicles at YamahaMotorsports.com. Cometic Gasket is the official gasket of American Flat Track. For decades, American Flat Track champions have depended on Cometic to seal their engines. Cometic Gaskets are the professional standard for racers who demand the very best. For more information, log on to Cometic.com. Cometic Gasket, sealing champions since 1989. Klotz Synthetic Lubricants is proud to be the official lubricant of American Flat Track and eight-time AFT national champion Jared Meese. Family owned and made in America since 1959, Klotz has built its reputation by answering the call of racers and performance enthusiasts who won't settle for anything less than superior synthetic lubricants. Racers and performance buffs around the world rely on Klotz to get them to the checkered flag. Order today at klotzlube.com. Drag Specialties welcomes race fans. At Drag Specialties, our commitment to riding is a way of life. That's why we want to remind you that when you're ready to tackle maintenance or add performance and style to your ride, make your first stop a local dealer who stocks products from Drag Specialties. Drag Specialties. Enjoy the races. This year sees Royal Enfield return for an all-new season of Build Train Race and a big step forward for the Moto Anatomy powered by Royal Enfield team. For the first time, Royal Enfield steps into the premier class for a full season of AFT racing, this time with a two-rider team. Meet the racers and check out the machines of both of Royal Enfield's groundbreaking programs. Sometimes you just don't need one of these. Sometimes all you really need is one of these. Read whatever you need from people to do whatever it takes. Go to catrentalstore.com. Let's do the work. Welcome back to the Mission Springfield Mile presented by the Drag Specialties. And guess what? The real guys are back. I'm Scotty Dubler up here in the booth. I got to go outside and walk around, check out the uh, what's going on out there in the Midway. Went to the marketplace, got some new AFT merchandise. There's some stuff on sale back there. Back on track is back there. And Ralph went back there, got some T-shirts and stuff too. So No, no, I went Christmas shopping. Oh.
I don't need to shop at all. He, between he turned my and... microphone off. Yeah, see? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. see how he is. Yeah, yeah. The but, other end. Who knew a tree could talk? Yeah, right. How about just, that? We just heard that. Christmas shopping is done. The entire yep. Shaheen family is getting AFT gear for Christmas, and, which is not bad. I got to right, tell you. I, right. mean, I think there's some cool stuff. And Jackie Mitchell from Back on Track just let us know that they have some ladies walking around selling the raffle tickets. They also have some really cool artwork. It's on display over there, and they are just trying to go through some things. They want. They do not want to take it back to the warehouse. So if you want some cool memorabilia, stop by Back on Track behind the grandstands. Now, in all seriousness, I thought Brad Jones and uh, Jason Andrews did a wonderful job up here in the booth and it's it's different to hear different voices let at please, the track let me tell you this it is way better for brad to come back here and talk on air than it would be for either one of us to <laughs> go up there yeah. and try to figure out how we're going to tell the story through pictures honestly i cannot do anything outside of this door in this truck so i'll stay right here in this spot you know scotty i have been doing i've been doing national television motorsports for 35 years and i've been in a lot of tv trucks I cannot still to this day figure out everything that's going on up there. Yeah, there's so much it's happening. Controlled chaos. You know, and we we have things in our ears occasionally, and, and we still yeah. keep talking. Yes. But you know, sometimes there's there's fires going on the other oh, side yeah. of the truck. They have to. They're listening to race control. They're listening to the director, the producer. You know, row number three with Jason. Row number two with Brian and Shelby. Um, Sable's back in the third row. There's a lot going on the other end of the truck, and we just sit over here, and Zach is in this truck as well, you know, so there's a lot of stuff happening on the other end of the truck, and I will be happy to stay over here in this booth and call qualifying. Here we go. Final round of the 2023 Progressive American Flat Track season. Qualifying round number one. It is the uh, Mission Super Twins on the racetrack. The one is Meese. The 32, Dallas Daniels. 95 is Beach. The three is Briar Bauman. 67, Fisher. 44, Robinson. 20 is Vandercoy. 37 is Bronson Bauman. 36 is Carlisle. 25 is Lau. The 10 is Johnny Lewis. The 17 is Wiles. 62 is Dan Bromley. And the 34 is Cam Smith. Those are the bikes on the racetrack. It is qualifying time. Somebody's going to try to get up there and set a fast lap and pick up $500, the Pronto Parts Plus Pole Award. And I didn't officially get to introduce you, Ralph, but uh, Ralph Shaheen is back in the booth as a 67 is off the pace on the front straightaway. Remember, he crashed his primary bike yesterday, went to the backup bike, and now he's coasting down the front straightaway. I am Scotty Dubler, and here beside me is the man, the myth, the legend. You've seen him on Supercross. You've seen him on video games, voicing. You've heard him all over the place. And he's up here in the booth with me. Ralph Shaheen, welcome back to Springfield. Thank you, Scotty. Yeah, it is great to be back here. Great to be back for this weekend and to see Championship Sunday ready to go. I cannot wait to watch that final mile national main event coming up later today between Jared and Dallas and to see who walks out of here 2023 champion. There's a look at Cameron Smith right here, the 34. We'll take a look at a replay. Stepped out. Watch the back end right here in the 34. He's got it in the corner. And right about here, the back end. Star oh, the, so he caught oh, some traction, puts him up out of the saddle, and the front end gets light, and then you get up onto the front end, so that you got a lot of weight on the front end, and it really screws everything up from the back to the front and then back to the rear wheel. So he did an excellent job right there saving it. Cam's been having a great season so far. Yeah, I'm really excited for Cam coming back next year. You know, I, I really hope he's able to get some good marketing going this off season. Maybe somebody helps him and finds a way to attract some sponsors for him. He's a great young man, really nice guy. I pleasure to talk with. Always like seeing him in the pits. Always has a smile for you. And, and nice I'll to chat with. And I think he's got a lot of potential as a racer. That if we could get 20 bucks into his program. I think we can see him busting into the top five. He's got such a nice family, too, and, and they are new to flat track. I mean, you know, he, he grew up in Pennsylvania. All of his friends were racing flat track, so that's why he started. His family, nobody else in his family raced anything is what I've been told. So it's it's interesting to see, you know, and, and I think he actually looks and races better on the twin than he ever did on the single. Yeah, and I think you're probably right. I mean, look, he's running right here with Brandon Robinson right now. Obviously a very well-established outstanding racer in this series and Cameron's able to run with him and hang with him and that's great to see that development because I don't think a year ago he was there with that right Brandon Robinson goes to the top spot right now 35.448 for B Rob the 44 he was on the podium yesterday was flying all day yesterday as well they kind of he showed his carts a little bit too soon he said Scotty if he can fix the middle portion of his day 
yes. today, yes. which he was not able to do yesterday, I think Brandon could be it, a real, real threat to get the win here today. And I think you're right. I think, you know, yesterday in the middle portion, maybe they were trying something different or the track just went away from him what he where he was trying to run. But in the main, off the start, what he did was so impressive, going around the outside and passing people. And you have to make hay while you can. Get up to the front as fast as you can. And he stayed about one line higher than anybody else for a while. And then that line slowly went away from him as the track dried out during that, you know, 14 minute plus, four, yeah, 14 minute plus two lap main event. So uh, unfortunately, that line did go away from him in the main, but he still sat, you know, got up there and was on a podium. He was so quick in the beginning of the day, so fast towards the end of the day. It's just that middle portion of the day when. The track was changing and moving around. He just couldn't find that spot he needed to. Mies goes to the top spot for the uh, qualifying session right there on that last lap. 35.400, 35.4 flat. Robinson second, 35.448. Breyer's up there, 35.643. So two tenths between the top three. And you know, everybody that's watching today, whether you're in the grandstands or at home watching on Fans Choice, soak it in today. Watch that number one really pay attention to how he rides today because you know what we just don't know when jared's gonna say i think i'm done yeah it, it could be today i don't could know could be today you, we don't you, know we think Kristen might have a line on it she'll break that news for us a little later on but even so you just never know and you want to know you want to be able to say man i watched jared Mees ride because we're gonna say very soon that guy Arguably the greatest ever. 72 Grand National victories. You know, he's catching Chris Carr has 78. He could catch that next season. I don't know if anybody will ever catch, you know, Scotty Parker with 94 Grand National victories, but, you know, it depends on how, how long Jared wants to race. Right. Yeah. Yeah, if you, if you doubt Jared, you know, toss that, you know, carrot right in front of him, he'll go after it. I'm, I'm one of those people that, you know, you, you hear people, oh, that guy wins too much. We do that a lot as fans. We're, like, really excited when a new guy comes up and starts winning and putting it to the established guys. Then all of a sudden, he's winning too much, and it's like, ah, oh, you want to see that guy lose or whatever. And then when they're retiring, you want to give them that big standing ovation farewell to it. Well, pay attention to that middle part because you really want to be able to appreciate what it is you're seeing. And it's not just racers. It's like football. When, it's when everything. A, a dynasty takes over, you don't you want somebody else to, to win. Yep. Yeah, I mean, Tree's bringing up a great point. We lost a few years of Michael Jordan in action during his prime that would love to have seen. Yeah, he went to go play baseball. baseball. Yeah, exactly. Looking at the times from yesterday, quick time in qualifying for the Super Twins was a 36.527. Right now we're at a 35.4, so we're over a second faster than we were yesterday. I mean, it's early in the day still. Uh, there are some clouds out there, which is helping. They put some more moisture on the racetrack again last night. But it's night, going to be hotter today than Correct. It will be warmer, so it may slow down a little bit as the day goes on. And, and like you brought up, Ralph, a second ago with Robinson was slower in the middle of the day. Well, maybe they weren't keeping up with the track or maybe they were trying different things in the middle of the day. So a lot of variables are in, in, in play for that. I mean, look, you and I are very fortunate. We got to see Scotty and Chris and Parker and, and Springer. We saw a little bit of Kenny and all that, right? But there's right. a lot of guys... We didn't get to see Dick Mann. Right. You know, we would love to be able to Rest say Weber. we saw Carol Restweber. We'd love to be able to say we saw that. And those folks that did were very fortunate to do so. Yeah, Bill I'm Tooman. Thrilled Bill. I got to see Jerry. I'm, yeah, I am too. It, it, it's amazing. He's the most focused person and racer I think I've ever seen. Yeah, and yeah, the other side of the truck is saying he pretty much changed the sport because, you know, they didn't have you know, nutritionists back then. They didn't go to the gym all the time like Mies does, and, and Mies made these other riders step up their game. Yeah, Alden Baker. Yeah, Alden Baker came up through bicycle racing, cycling, and Ricky Carmichael found Alden, and the two of them hooked up, and basically together they developed the training program that got Ricky to put the French fries down right. and go go ride and Ricky will tell you there's a lot of times he went and snuck french fries but that's another story <laughs> but it really changed Ricky as a person physically and got him to a position where he could go race at the highest level and have an edge on the rest of the competition when it came to moto and supercross 
Beast did the exact same thing. You know, nobody had nutritionists. Nobody had trainers like they do right. now. Yeah, I, I remember when, when Brad Jones and I, when we met from during Live Eye Sports, Doug Stewart is here. He's actually who paid us to, to do that series and, and did that live on bucks. the internet. Yeah, 20 bucks was 20 bucks. But uh, Terry Poopy would smoke a cigarette. Oh, yeah right before he put his helmet on before he went out there for a main event. Barry Sheen with the hole in the helmet yeah. so he so could he slide could one through the helmet exactly. just before he left the grid. I don't think anybody in the pits right now that's racing smokes. No. Probably not. Checkered flag is out. Group number two. Jeffrey Lowry once again fastest in this second group. Gets all the way up to ninth on his Yamaha 36.257. Dick Trickle with the cigarette lighter built into the <laughs> in race car. car so under caution he could, <laughs> he could fire one up. true no yeah there's uh you know some of the mechanics down there still well smoke, but yeah they can come to get that. a toolbox there's a pack of the toolbox exactly part of it. yeah so meese three five point four zero zero robinson three five point four four eight dallas daniels the uh, only rider that can beat meese in the championship three five point eight two seven as the times disappear so we're, we're going to shift gears to the aft singles class and see who can set the fast time again Fast time counts for first round, round or second round. You got one lap, whichever your fastest lap is, that will get you qualified into today's event. Singles will come out according to their point standings. Cody Kopp locked up his second consecutive parts limited AFT singles championship yesterday, and he won it at the finish line. Only led two laps yesterday. One was about lap 12, and one was the final lap. He's going to pull up and let everybody else go. The 21 is Trevor Bruner, 59, the bomber, Tom Drain. 88, Chase Sadoff, 18, Maxwell, 80, 48, Trent Lowe, 79, Dalton Gauthier, 13, Morgan Mishler, 19, James Ott, 49, Chad Coast, 82, Travis Petten, 26, Aiden Roos Evans. His nickname is NASA, by the way. 75 is Terrence Santero, 63, Jared Lowe, 52, Shayna Texterbaum, and the 51, Cole Zabala. What the heck is going on at the end of the end? Oh, they're, having, they're having too much fun. I don't know about them. One person is for sure. <laughs> I don't think tree, he's, tree I don't is think on he, the rev limiter. I don't today. think he slept last night. I think he's punched wow. drunk. I mean, Penn State was done early yeah, enough he, that he should have gotten a decent night's sleep. He had to edit the TV show so this one could be on FS1 in just a few days. So he well, was up. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, the whole the whole truck, the whole truck on the other end was up. Yeah, kids. Yeah, the, the other people on the other end of the truck worked all night. We went and had some great food and, and hung out with their friends, but they are you know, making videos for the banquet that's coming up this evening at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Ashley's in charge of that. Ashley Robinson, she still has to put some more videos together. and She's not put the videos together, but she well, has you, to put more you paperwork You can't finalize together. the banquet until you know who's won, right? Yeah, every you know, everything is still up for grabs except for Cody Cops number one. We know that. Look at that swing up the inside move of the 59. Drain goes to the top spot, 36.654. Sat up 36.721. This is qualifying, ladies and gentlemen. They'll start picking up the pace. What happens to Tom Drain in the offseason? Does he does he get phone calls from around the globe about things? Does that, he does he go back to Australia? He, yeah, I mean, I mean it's gonna be really interesting. That's gonna be an off-season story that's really gonna be interesting to follow. I mean, obviously Tim Essenson doesn't want to see him go anywhere. Right. And um, it could be locked up on a contract you know, for multiple yeah. years. We're not sure. Well, and sometimes those contracts say if you are going to continue to run flat track, you're our guy, right? right? You can't do anything. But somebody from MotoGP calls you, okay, we understand we're not going to hold you back. They might let you we'll go. We'll let you out to go right. do that. Well, It might be we'll let you go as long as it's a Yamaha team. It could be, you know. Well, like J.D. Beach a couple weeks ago went road racing. Yeah. You know, and that was approved through Estenson yeah. to fill in for Cam Peterson. This – this practice and this qualifying today is more like racing. Yesterday, were, they were all spread out. Today, well, like while, while Jason and, and Brad were in here, there was a big pack, just like there is right now, a big pack of riders. This is nuts. Yeah, they're racing this like it's what the main we were all event. Looking for. Yes, I agree 100%, Ralph. Yes, good yeah. for us as fans. Patton got really close to the wall coming up at two last time. I think he's, you know, got pulled up there by the, the draft and the wind right here coming off this corner. When somebody says Springfield Mile, that is exactly what you envision. Exactly. Right there. Yep. Every single one of us goes, I know what that looks like. That's it right there. 
No, yeah, and it's in every discipline that comes here, right? All the oh. different genres, all race the same way. Cody just went up the track right in front of a few of those guys. Looks like Santero's up there on the 75, and looks like Coaster Ott's trying to swing up the inside, and one of the Yeses and Yamahas were on the outside. You've never seen the big cars on here. Right? I have not. I'm cars. usually always gone. Yeah. Oh, pump of smoke. Smoking. Somebody smoking. Watch out. That's the 79 of Gautier smoking. Robbie not Bobby's cigarettes like we were do. talking about earlier. Robbie Bobby's got some work to do. Yep. Hopefully he can start feeling it. Maybe can get off the gas. Maybe I'm pull out of the way. Surprised ones behind him haven't fanned out. Yeah, I would be on the I brakes. I would be anywhere right behind him. I would be anywhere him. near that 79 bike. And somebody's right behind him. So they're watching up top in race control right now. Chris Carr is up there. And Brian Smith is running around. They're keeping an eye on it. Checkered flag is out. Here, here's what I'm most surprised in right now with, with the singles class, Ralph. The Essence and Yamahas have had a great season. They're up front a lot, and they're the only two Yamahas. Why? Yeah, Why? yeah Why? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, seriously. Yeah, that's a really, really good point. Yeah, I, there's all kinds of Hondas out there, right? And yeah. And smattering of KTMs. A, a bunch of KTMs now, two Husqvarnas and, and uh, three Husqvarnas this weekend. But um, that's, I mean, I just, yeah, our, our sport goes through trends. Like in, in the, the olden days, everybody had to have Harley Davidson if you're in the Super Twins class. And now people are riding different kinds of brands in the Super Twins. Well, the singles, it went for Hondas for a long time. Like, every bike in the main event pretty much was a Honda. Yeah, Chad's telling Dalton he was smoking right now. Yeah, so is Morgan. So they're letting him know that the 79 was letting a little bit of smoke out. But, yeah, the, the, you know, the whole racing industry goes through different trends. Yeah. Look at this replay. This is a main event from uh, later on today, which you haven't seen yet, but it's going to look just like this look how many bikes there are it's i can't even count them here they come this is just qualifying drained at the top spot 36.654 on that number 59 bike incredible group number two there's aiden brown the 112 from walton kentucky he's got a different colored rim on today he's got one purple and one looks like teal colored rim you might maybe we should change Drain's name to Beast, because that's what he's going to be next year. He's amazing. He's just going to be a beast. It's like Smith is off the pace coming onto the back straightaway, unless he's trying to let some people go in front of him. This is group number two. First round of qualifying for your parts limited AFT singles. 91 is Jones, 24 Hunter Bauer, 216 Declan Bender, 166 Logan Eisenhardt, 55 Tyler Raggio, 117 Landon Smith, 56 Jordan Jean, 186 is Jacob Vanboy. 14, Damon Green, the one that crashed on the back shoot yesterday. 112, Aiden Brown, 106, Reese Potter. 157, Ian Wolf. 270 is Jess Reynolds. 149, Tregan Birdsong. And the 176, Jacob Walter. Those are the bikes on the racetrack. The good thing for these riders is there's 31 entries. Up to 32 will make it into a heat race. So everybody's guaranteed to be in a heat race. That takes a big load of pressure off of these riders. Now they can just go out there and try to set a real quick lap. You don't have to worry about making the cut, missing the cut. You don't have to look and see if there's somebody that's going to bump you out of qualifying. So there's you know, 31 of them. They'll all make it to a heat race. You'd hate to see somebody go home. Yeah, nobody wants to do this race. Especially the last long. one of the, the year. You've got a long off season. Exactly. One thing that stands out to me, too, right now, it looks like Shannon Texter Bauman has found a little bit of speed. She's up to eighth right now in this first round, 37.05. So just about four tenths off of Tom Drain. I didn't know she had a, an ACL injury earlier this season until yesterday. They were well, trying to keep that under radar. Yeah, we didn't talk about it much. I don't, I don't remember if you knew that or not. I definitely don't remember hearing it until yesterday. And you know, sometimes that's what well, and sometimes you do that. Well, sometimes you're told something by an athlete that says, hey, you know, this part of my body or whatever it is isn't feeling 100%. But Correct. You know, please don't talk about it. We always right. respect that. Correct. So that's why I, I don't remember if we actually knew that or not. So this time, Eisenhard battling for that rookie of the year is 20th quick. His competitor, the 216 Declan Bender, right now is 22nd. So they're really close to the same. Declan made the main and got sixth yesterday, his career best finish. And Eisenhard missed the main. So uh, there's a little bit of a gap between those two riders right now. $7,500 to win rookie of the year. It's pretty good. Especially thanks to Mobile View. on the outside of Trevor Moore looks like a plastic bag or a, or a corn dog wrapper. That's how, what it how is. Many, how many um, 
Pronto Parts Plus Pull Awards and Al Lamb's Dallas Honda Challenges did Tom Drain win? Is that a, a trick uh, question? No, or? it's because I know you have right, the I'll have it. Let me see here. So you're looking at Pronto Parts Plus Pull, pull awards. awards. How many of those did he win? Four. So okay, far. so that's he, two no, grand no, there. Five, five yesterday. He got five yesterday. All right, that's 2,500. Okay. And how many uh, challenge, challenge races? races? Five. Five. Five times 2,500. 12,500. Okay, so he's good. <laughs> no, because I was thinking he's 7,500 bucks oh, yeah. for the rookie oh, of the year, which okay. he can't win. Right, right. But so, we both would say, yeah. obviously, he should have had a shot at it. Correct. I'm not in agreement with him not being able to win that. Right, I'm with you. So I got you. he I lost see. out on the 7,500, but you know but he, what? He, he made, made 12.5 anyway. He made up for it. <laughs> he good. made up for it just in the, on the other the stuff. Lamb Dallas on a yeah. challenge race. Yeah. I mean, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. You and I both know that. Exactly. But. But he's good. Yeah, he's good. Checkered flag is out. First round of qualifying is in the books now for the Parts Limited AFT Singles and the Mission Super Twins. Track maintenance is up on the docket. If you're here with us, they're going to have an open paddock area. 1235 is what they're looking for. 1235 to 125. Opening ceremonies today is at 130. We'll try to stay on schedule better than yesterday. We had a few technical glitches that got us behind the eight ball. The timing scoring loop was one of them. Tell you were looking at me like, what are you? Yeah, I was like, I was like, you. I got better things to do than figure this out. <laughs> There's Jacob Vandekoy. The other side of the truck doesn't like kill switch. Well, it's. I understand what Tree is getting at with the name, but right. the story. Well, I think whatever was wrong, the tree did to knock us off the air on purpose like that because he didn't like what we were saying, I guess. Uh, we've got it fixed.
whenever it was. Sometimes these network things happen. It's not always, <laughs> yeah, it's not, wasn't an audio thing. They just don't like Scotty and I anymore. So, which is certainly understandable. Anyway, folks, stay with us. We're going to take a quick commercial break. The track is quiet right now. They're doing a little track maintenance. We will do so as well. And we'll be right back. Honestly, oh, that's, I, I'm, I apologize for that. But it was funny. Well played, Tree. We will be right back to the Illinois State Fairgrounds here in Springfield in a few minutes. The world's largest motorcycle event, Daytona Bike Week. Bikes, beaches, and the 2024 American Flat Track Season Opener. The Progressive American Flat Track Season Opener. A double header at Daytona International Speedway Short Track during Daytona Bike Week. The Loyal Order. Riders, let your queries be known. Yeah, hi. Instead of letting passengers wrap their arms around us, can we put little handles on our jackets? Deny. Imagine. I want a new nickname. Can you guys start calling me Snake? No, Brian. Denied. How about we all get close to see if we can save with America's number one motorcycle insurer? Approved. Cool. Hey, if Brian's not going to be Snake, can I be Snake? No. no. VP Racing Fuels. No matter what motorcycle you race or ride, amateur or pro, we have a fuel to make more power. Keep your bike running cool with VP Stay Frosty Coolant, available in two formulas, race ready, designed to be glycol free and track approved, and high performance with freeze protection for street applications. Visit VPRacingFuels.com to learn more. Mobile View has been providing state-of-the-art LED video screens to sporting and special events throughout the U.S. and Canada since 1999. We use our vast experience of thousands of events to help guide the process of finding the right size screen to help make your event a memorable experience for your fans and sponsors. SBS is the official brake sponsor of Progressive American Flat Track, your single source of brake components for motorcycles, ATVs, and UTVs in racing, off-road, and for street use. Try the improved brake performance of the all-new SBS Better Brake Series. Find the brake pads, rotors, and clutch kits that match your bike on sbsbrakes.com. There's a reason why SBS is the preferred choice of street kings and race champions alike. Go ahead. Once again, for the 2023 season, all progressive American flat track classes are running the race-proven DT4 tire from Dunlop. Designed for pro and amateur riders alike, the DT4 has multiple compound options, an aggressive tread pattern, and can be run tubeless for greater overall performance. Dunlop, the official tire of progressive American flat track. Brought to you by Yamaha. On the track, on the trail, or out on the open road, check out Yamaha's full line of class-defining, adventure-seeking motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-side -side vehicles at YamahaMotorsports.com. Al Lamb's Dallas Honda is proud to sponsor the Singles Challenge. No holds barred, winner takes all dash for cash. The payout? A cool 2500 bucks. Al Lamb's Dallas Honda. Riding red since 1977. DallasHonda.com. Progressive is proud to be America's number one motorcycle insurer, protecting one out of every three insured riders. And they also offer coverage for your boat, RV, and other adventure vehicles. Quote motorcycle insurance online in as little as three minutes or bundle your insurance together today. Parts Unlimited, the people behind We Support the Sport, welcome you to this high action event. We are proud to join with race fans everywhere in working to ensure that our sport gets bigger and more exciting each season. And you too can support the sport by visiting your local dealer who stocks products from Parts Unlimited. They've got the very best in high performance parts and accessories and the best support network in the business. Parts Unlimited, we support the sport. When you think of a ride, you think of quality. When it comes to hitting the ground and, and protecting your head, I wouldn't wear anything else. The design of it is round and smooth, so when you're rolling through the dirt, your helmet doesn't catch the dirt and 
hurt your neck. Safety in flat track and motorsports in general is probably the biggest concern. Obviously, we're all here to win. At the end of the day, we're all concerned about our well-being, and for that, you want to have the, the best gear on it, you know? And for me, a ride is the best choice. Rev up to get fueled by mission as the world's most extreme dirt track riders and tastiest products come together to fuel your flavor. Fully loaded tacos, fast wraps, piled high nachos. Whatever you crave, Mission will help you be race ready with easy to make recipes that will take your race day to the finish line. Keep your racing delicious and enjoy all the mouth-watering action. Brought to you by Mission Foods. Too fast, too tasty. Drag Specialties, a major sponsor of today's action, welcomes Springfield race fans. At Drag Specialties, our commitment to riding is a way of life. That's why we want to remind you that when you're ready to tackle maintenance or add performance and style to your ride, make your first stop to a local dealer who stocks products from Drag Specialties. Drag Specialties, enjoy the races. Parts Unlimited welcomes racers and race fans to a high-performance day on the track. Like you, we can't resist the speed and the spectacle of top-level flat-track competition. We support the sport as not just our slogan, it's what we do. 24-7, 365 days a year, working to expand the sport in every possible way. Thanks for joining us at the Springfield Mile. And don't forget to support your dealer who stocks performance products from Parts Unlimited. Parts Unlimited, we support the sport. The your queries be known. Yeah, hi. Instead of letting passengers wrap their arms around us, can we put little handles on our jackets? Deny. Can you imagine? I want a new nickname. Can you guys start calling me Snake? No, Brian. Denied. How about we all get close to see if we can save with America's number one motorcycle insurer? Approved. Cool. Hey, if Brian's not going to be Snake, can I be Snake? No. no. Rev up those taste buds with Mission Foods. A proud sponsor of AFT Super Twins, Mission Foods has mouth-watering snacks and easy-to-make recipes to fuel your race day. Now that's too fast, too tasty. Whether amateur or pro, VP has a motorcycle fuel to make more power. Keep your race bike cool with Stay Frosty Race Ready Coolant and high-performance formula for your street bike. Learn more at vpracingfuels.com. Kicker Performance Audio is your fuel for living loud and a proud sponsor of American Flat Track, the original extreme sport. Now in our 50th year, Kicker has been the world leader in audio gear for cars, trucks, motorcycles, and America's roads. Kicker Audio is living loud. Lincoln Welders is the official welder of American Flat Track Racing. When it comes to welding, cutting equipment, and safety apparel, Lincoln Electric is the choice. Go to LincolnElectric.com for all your welding, cutting, and safety apparel needs. And remember to hashtag Weld Red with all your projects. Two short years ago, Honda released the Rebel 1100. And for 2023, they're introducing the all-new Rebel 1100T, equipped with a large color-matched handlebar-mounted fairing and 35 liters of lockable storage. It's built for the open road. The standard and bagger models both start with a powerful twin-cylinder engine, so they sound as aggressive as they look. Head to a dealer to see the 2023 Honda Rebel 1100 and 1100T. Memphis Shades brings you a whole new level of style when it comes to motorcycle windshields and fairings. The quality, style, and selection set these products apart from the pack. Memphis Shades designs and builds all windshields, fairings, and hardware in-house. Raw materials in, finished goods out. Made in Memphis. Style that works. Sideburn is the world's finest Go Fast Turn Left magazine. It's available to buy at Progressive AFT's Marketplace and is the official magazine of Progressive American Flat Track. For more information, visit sideburnmagazine.com. Solar Fit, America's solar team, is a proud sponsor of American Flat Track Racing. Get your complimentary solar analysis today at AmericanFlatTrack.com slash SolarFit and let the sun power your home or business for free. Al Lamb's Dallas Honda is proud to sponsor the Singles Challenge. No holds barred, winner takes all dash for cash. The payout? A cool 2500 bucks. Al Lamb's Dallas Honda. Riding red since 1977. DallasHonda.com
Introducing the all-new 2021 Rebel 1100 from Honda. Castrol is the world's number one selling motorcycle oil brand and for over 120 years has pioneered the development of high-performance motorcycle oils. Castrol Power One Premium Full Synthetic Oil is proven to deliver superior power and acceleration at the touch of the throttle and Castrol Power One V-Twin Premium Full Synthetic Oil is tested in Harley-Davidson's and formulated to deliver the ultimate performance and protection in modern V-Twin engines. Stop by the Turner Racing Pits today, meet the team, and ask for Matt to learn more about Castrol's full line of motorcycle oils. Motion Pro is proud to provide you with innovative tools that help you maintain and repair your motorcycle, ATV, and UTV. Check into your local dealer to see their broad line of products used by professional racers and first-time riders alike, or visit their website at motionpro.com. And welcome back to the Mission Springfield Mile, presented by Drag Specialties. There is Honest Abe right there as you make your way into the fairgrounds. Stop by and see that statue. I'm going to go check out the uh, Abe Lincoln Library and house and stuff tomorrow before yeah. I fly home. It's, if you've never done it, you have to go do that. I think I've I'm only done it one time, possibly. I think when we rained out a few years back. I'm not supposed to say that R word, but man, it, it's really cool. You have to check it out, Ralph. I hope you enjoy it. I know you got a later flight tomorrow, and no, I, know, I, I know you're going to enjoy it. But Yeah, absolutely. It's good. Imagine living back there. No. So we got a few things we want to take care of. We want to say uh, hi and hope everybody at, at home at the Dubler household in Oklahoma is enjoying the races. They had a big watch party yesterday. I'm not sure who all hey, stuck Graham. around hey, for Paul. today. Hey, Graham. Hey, Paul. Graham and Paul are Ryan. watching for sure. Yeah, my daughter went over there. And uh, you got some friends. They're you great people. Say, yeah. They're great people. Awesome. You got some friends you want to take care of? Yeah, our folks at Caterpillar are a big part of the Springfield weekend. Of course, Peoria, Illinois is the original home for Caterpillar, but they come up here for Springfield and help us out and make the races pop, pop, Jesus. Possible. Thank you. It's a big <laughs> word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the tree's available to come back and say that for us. Yes, they make them possible. As you know, Caterpillar has entered a sponsorship relationship with the Progressive American Flat Track Series, widely recognized as the most prestigious and competitive form of dirt track motorcycle racing in the world. AFT Racing is a hyper-competitive, adrenaline-fueled motorcycle sport. Caterpillar Incorporated is here this weekend with their new and prospective customers, cat rental employees, friends, and family, and we welcome them to Springfield. And, you know, there's one other thing I wanted to tell you about Caterpillar, Scotty, what they've mm -hmm. got going on over there. Sure. I don't know about you, but I've always wanted to... Uh, you want to drive one. Drive, yeah, the big yeah. truck. I'd love to do that, right? Mm hmm Well, Caterpillar is making that possible here today. Really? Yeah. So what racing are we, what fans, are we doing in here? This. Yeah, right? <laughs> you can fulfill those childhood dreams of operating a piece of cat equipment this weekend with Cat Command at the Springfield Mile. Now, listen to this. Okay. Our remote operation station will be available to fans on Sunday, today, where you can operate a cat machine in Clayton, North Carolina, right from here at the races in Springfield, Illinois. No operating experience necessary. Our team of expert dealer instructors will show you the ropes, and you'll get to see your work come to life from over 800 miles away. That How is, cool is that? That's amazing. So somehow you and I need to get over there and do that. We definitely have to do that today. So thank you, Caterpillar. We appreciate you guys being here. Thank you, Wally. Our dear friend at Caterpillar, she's fantastic and I, a huge, huge supporter of AFT. Talked to her yesterday in the elevator, and I was like, are you, great? "Are you going to weigh the flag today?" And she said, "Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get to see her do it yesterday. Hopefully, I didn't see her do it yesterday. Hopefully, she either. got to, or maybe she can do it today. But it's so cool to have you know sponsors like that involved. Yeah, they're not just sport. yeah, we'll throw a sticker out there or hang a couple of banners, but I mean, are really interested in the sport and seeing it the grow. Sm the smile on her face in the elevator, just talking about our sport." It's it's, yeah. it's priceless. You and know? she runs all their sports marketing. So when you see Caterpillar and other forms of motorsports, like their NASCAR program and stick and ball sports, it all goes through Wally. And she loves American Flat Track, and we're thrilled she does. And they had a bunch of VIPs out here. Uh, a few of them went through the tour of yep. the truck, the production truck, and got to go to different places. And, and I hope they all enjoyed that. Oh, yeah.
Well, apparently they're still taking entries for today's race. Okay. They're sliding All a couple right. through, and right. one just came in, and we want to make sure everybody's up to speed. This one right here. All right. Is that lucky number seven? Could be. It's a single. Yeah, single horsepower. He's in the singles class. There you go. That's the trotter track just off the back side of the straightaway. Would you um, – yeah. Would you ride the back of that? No, thank, the, no thank you. I, the buggy would be the okay. Buggy. I don't. I don't. I'm not. I, I got to be in control. I need some handlebars. Well, I you're think. in control. I, mean, I don't you got know about brains. that. They, they have their own brains. There we go. This is what's going I would, on. I would like to be on the back of this. This is actually Tom Drain's rear fender right here yesterday. I sure miss it. From that point right there, you can see it's not flat as it looks like when you're up in the grandstands. No. It breaks up a little bit. Still fairly smooth. I mean, they're doing, they do a fabulous job. This is from the main yesterday. This is amazing. Baby. Yeah, I love it. Sat off chasing down the first straight away. Here comes the draft up the inside. So, so amazing. There goes the chainsaw right there. Cutting through the field. Cut right, slicing right there through you the go. baby. Somebody's smiling. Probably not Chase. Jason oh, said it was goes. approved by Chase, so really? I don't know. I don't know if it's the D Chase set up or just some other guy named Chase. I like it. <laughs> so going back to Kill Switch, because yes. we lost that. Yes, we, we lost audio right when we were I understand. I understand what Tree is saying about it, but... That's I him. do. The story is funny. Exactly. And it fits the story. Ralph's pri We're going to jump on Ralph's private pay, plane. Pay no attention to the guys at the front of the truck. They're, they're, nobody else is. <laughs> it's the last day of school. Can you imagine what he was like in eighth grade? He, he was bigger than us. Oh, he had to, <laughs> for sure. For sure he was. Yeah, look at this. Go oh ahead, Ralph. Man, look at that. Oh, oh, wow, baby. they almost touched. So close. Inches apart. Over 100. And, oh, these guys are over 130, 135 miles an hour at the end of the straightaway. Mm. I did have some questions yesterday, actually. Uh, some of my friends came out as the Super Twins rolling to the track, and in that singles main, Cody, I said, went under the arm or yeah, had to yeah. go through. Yeah, I remember so you to explain that. that a little bit more, I don't know if we have a shot of the finish or not, but Cody was wide open, and he got so close to drain, he lowered his arm to go underneath Tom's handlebar. You'll have to, you'll have to watch it, Ralph. It's, it's like he, he's usually wide open like this. He bent his arm like that to go past Without him. Without lifting. Yes. We yeah. never even shut off the throttle. It was impressive. So that was one of the questions I got yesterday, last night, actually. Okay. Awesome. Final round of qualifying mission. Super Twins are on the racetrack. This is how you get set up for a heat race, and also somebody's racing for that Pronto Parks Plus Pole Award, an extra $500 to the fast qualifier. Back straight away into three. Man, the track looks really good right now. It takes a little bit of time to put water on the racetrack, pack it right back in, but it is fast right now. Johnny Lewis trying that low line. Now he's going to look over his shoulder, wants to see who he can get in line with. You can't just pull right back in front of somebody. There's Van Decoy on the 20 bike. Side by side, going into turn number three. Meets to the top spot, 35.337. That is the fastest lap we have seen today. So I'm assuming that's the fastest lap we have seen this weekend, 35.337.
Fisher getting up to full speed. Now finally on the 67 bike, up to four, three, five point nine, three, nine. They've been having issues. He fell off once yesterday. We had an issue just a few moments ago with the motorcycle in the last qualifying session. Now he's picking up the pace to a three, five point nine, three, nine for Fisher. There's Cam Smith on the 34. There is Fisher. There goes Bromley. And here goes the three bike. Look how high the three of Briar Bauman is running. Right at the edge of the hard pack and at the start of the looser dirt, the three of Briar Bauman, 35.692, currently third for the three bike. I love the high line. Look at that. Way up there by the air fence going into one and two. He's a taller gentleman, too, just like we've talked about Robinson, how tall he is. Dan Bromley is probably one of the taller guys out there at about six foot four, six three and a half. Briar's up there about six foot two, and it is very hard to get tucked in and get underneath the paint or behind the number plate or however low you can get. But Briar does an excellent job right here on the three. He's tracked on the 62. That should be a quick lap. Not quite as fast as his fastest lap, though, a three six point. Actually, 35.929. Look who's up there in fourth now. Bronson finding some speed. A 35.816 for Brombo on the 37 Fast Track Racing KTM. <coughs> Beast at the top spot, 35.337. The last lap at 35.969. So that is the difference in one practice or one qualifying session. The first lap was up to full speed was probably the fastest. Now this last one is slowing down a little bit. There's a look at the 32, still in the hunt for the championship, but Dallas is back in seventh right now. 36.004, so six, a little over six tenths of a second slower than Mies. Good run by Bronson Bauman. He lives in Illinois now. Him and his wife, Alex. So we're, we're, we're getting questions from the other side of the truck again. To be a member of the FBI, the Fast Boys from Illinois, do you have to be born in Illinois or can you just live in the state of Illinois? And to me, I'm not from Illinois. It's not my gang or my group of people, but I would assume or think that you would have to be born in Illinois, but I could be wrong. So right now, he could be an honorary member. Yeah, could they deny his membership? I don't know. I mean, if you're a Fast Guy, I, I think they would want you to be part of the the group, Fast Boys from Illinois. Here comes group number two, last round, last group of qualifying of the season for the Mission Super Twins, sponsored by SNS Cycle. 109, Billy Ross, 61, Casey Cisco, 94, Ryan Wells, 223, Jeffrey Lowry's been fast all day, 92 is Brandy Price, 60, Mike Nick Armstrong, 96, Cody Johncock, 77, Jordan Harris, 99, Kevin Stallings. 42, Jeremiah Duffy, 160, Austin Helmholtz, 71, Pat Buchanan, and the 38, the Dean Machine, Tanner Dean, who had a podium finish in the singles class at Castle Rock, got himself a ride with the Racing Unlimited Kawasaki here in the premier class. To the front straightaway, 38. Tanner Dean leads this big group. This is his first weekend in the Premier Class, if I'm not mistaken. He has rode in the Production Twins class before. From the Pacific Northwest. Down the back straightaway. Brake train. Here comes the 60, trying to get past the 38. One rider's checked out out there all by himself. I believe that's Billy Ross on the XG. 750 Harley Davidson. Actually, saw an XG sitting for sale just beside uh, the production truck. Put over a number here. on it? Yeah, put a number on it, get it out there. No, uh, I mean, did you uh, no, put a bid? No, there's a phone number on it. I, I haven't called it yet. I have one Harley. I don't know if I need another. Cisco up there to the 12th spot on the 61, the other Harley Davidson that's out there racing today. But there, there's actually a, a, a vintage bike display right here beside yes, us is. outside turn number one. There's some beautiful motorcycles out there. And that XG750 is right there for sale. 
Looks like one of the uh, yellow leathers. Possibly. Yeah, that is the 92 of Brandon Price. Sneak to peek up the inside. Take a look back there. Cisco on the 61. Orange and white leathers. The Cisco kid from Canby, Indiana. And there's Jordan Harris on the Ryan Barnes racing Schaefer's Motorsports KTM, the 77. The coal miner. That's his full-time job. He is actually a real coal miner. I'm going to show you something during the break. Okay. You're not going to believe it. I can't this. wait. I can't believe it just came through. I cannot wait to oh, see man. it. Oh, man. And uh, they actually tracked down the 109 of Billy Ross. He was out there out front by himself. So this group of five or six riders are proving to you that you can go faster if you're in a group. If you can all kind of work together, less passing and kind of stay in line. But uh, they've tracked down the 109 of Billy Ross. And passed him. 77, there's Harris moving up to 17th right now on the KTM. Harris is 17th. Cisco is up there in 12th right now. The 61 bike laying down a quick lap a few moments ago. Oh, there's one bike off the groove or off the pace up there by the hay bales. We take a look back at Jeffrey Lowry, who was faster earlier. The 223 currently 15th, and he's working with the 61, so hopefully they can go fast together. And here's that one bike that's coasting down the back straightaway as we go back out near the front of the class. And now there's rubber going down, down here in three and four as the white flag comes out. Raymond Rizzo, our racing chaplain, waving the white flag. He's the assistant flag man. And his uh, big rig that he does his chapel service in is actually still broken down. It's in Pennsylvania as he was at uh, Moto America, I believe, last and then broke down. And he had to take a rental car from there just to be here for us and for the riders. Jeffrey Lowry, the 223, still 15th quick in this second round of qualifying. Jordan Harris trying to keep up with the 92. Maryland Ryder, the 92. Brandon Price is 14th right now. Now he's got some clear real estate just ahead. Check the flag is out. Thumbs up for Raymond. I love it. A couple more riders across the line. Price looks like he'll settle in for 14th in this round. Cisco, 12th. This final round of qualifying for your Mission Super Twins. All 27 riders will make it into two qualifying heat races. We'll take the top six out of there. This weekend just keeps keeps getting better, Scott. Oh, I cannot wait. So just keeps getting better. It's been a whole week for you, not just a weekend. It really, I mean, you, it you really had, has been. Started what, Tuesday three? with Guns N' Roses. Yep. Then who was your second concert? Kiss. Kiss. No, Smashing thought, Pumpkins was a week before. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I thought it was all in this week. No. I was like, man. Yeah. It's been a, been on a roll. Yep. Skinner at Sturgis. All right, that is it for Super Twins qualifying. All right, singles are about to roll out onto the track. That's their production manager. Okay. That is very cool. Very cool. Is that not awesome? That is very cool. So can we share that? Well, sure. All if right. you think anybody out there would care to know, I don't know I, if they I, do. But I do. I think so. I mean, so. you're my buddy. That's a little different. Well. Uh, it's just a text message. It's just but a text message. Well, yeah. Hang on a second, Tree. I can show something. All right. So. Singles around the racetrack. Final round of qualifying. Is anybody going to be faster than the 59 of Tom Drain, or will he pick up another $500 Pronto Parts Plus Pole Award? We are about to find out. Some new fans tune in and says, who is this Tom Drain kid? Well, the he's, beast. He's a fast young he's rider the beast. from Australia riding for the Estenson Yamaha team. He's, he's the, the real deal. The sport. He is the real deal. Singles are on the track. 88 out in front. Chase Sadoff still looking for his first win. Man, how cool it'd be to come at the season finale to know you're the last winner of the season. And you have to, you get to think about that until the start of the season next year when we right. go to, to Daytona. That's you know six or seven months away to be the, the last winner to sit in the full off season, know that you won the Springfield Mile. Does it really have to be that far off? Well, maybe they start sooner than that. I don't know. They usually start Daytona bike. Week. I know, but I'm just saying it hate to hear it's that far off. I think Tree keeps pushing my mute button on the other side. All right, something, something else is happening. There's Sadoff breaking away in this one, trying to see what he can do. 37.040 for Chase Sadoff. Hey, Tree. So I believe me 
Reese will be the fast qualifier in the Super Twins. Who's going to be the fast qualifier in the singles? Right now in this round, 36.449 for Bruner. His teammate Drain right behind him, 36.624. This is the overall fast qualifier. That's it's not good for everybody else. Look at this big group of riders. How impressive is this? This is so much fun, Ralph. Mm. How do you explain that to people, right? You, you just can't, can't. You can't put it into words. You just words. have to see it. And feel it. Take it up. Yes. Look at that. Turner Yamaha just, you know, drafted by three people going into three. That was the 48 of Trent Lowe. Who won Duke Coin earlier this year? You know, I know Tree was asking what was our favorite memory of the year. Yes. Moment of the year for yes. me. Yep. Leading into today, because today could top everything. We don't Correct. know yet. Correct. Uh, I would say right now, Decoin was my favorite. Just the whole day in the general. The whole day. Okay. I mean, unbelievable racing. Look who's up there in the thick of things. The 75 has made its way up there. That is Taryn Santero. So speaking of Decoin. And that period, I had this, I was at a, an erase event. And this guy was like, oh, yeah, what are you doing? So I've been doing a lot of flat track this year. Dude, you have no idea. I said, let me tell you something. I said, do you think you got some close racing in your series? And I don't even remember which series he was into. Right. Some stock car thing or something. I said, at DeCoin, the gap between first and second with the singles was three thousandths of a second. Right. And he's looking at me like, wow. I said, yeah. But then the twins came out, <laughs> and their gap was one one thousandth of a second between first and second. Two main events, less than five thousandths of a second between the two. Yeah. So his jaw was on the floor. I said, yeah. Check the so, flag is out. Yeah, yeah. no yeah. roll cage. Inch, inches apart. Inches apart. No containment seat. Cody Cop was running back there in the pack with his teammate Swale, and they're third and fifth. Third and fifth for Cop and Whale back there in that uh, second round of qualifying. Brunner quickest in this round, 36.449. And his teammate right there, 36.624 for Tom Drain. So Brunner was fastest in this round of qualifying. Will that be good enough to be the overall fast time? We'll find out in just a few moments. One more group to go. Qualifying for, for the year will be in the books. Hmm. Final group is Parks Limited AFC single sponsored by Kicker, and they're looking for a 36.449 in this round. I didn't get to write down the other one as we were uh, distracted by the. But you don't like right now. I, I, well, I wait till the last second. I don't like scratching them out. So we had to step out of here for a minute. Little Jack Brooks right here. This number uh, 13 just brought us a Sprecher, and I believe Kristen Beat just stole it. So. Uh, this little guy right here is Jack, fast. Jack. Jack Brooks. Brock Sprecher. Brooks. Yep. He's from Wisconsin, and him and his mom and his dad always bring me a Sprecher. And this little kid's going to be somebody. He's only uh, 13 years old. Jack is my new favorite racer. Little Jack Brooks. Yeah. In anything. He, he's fast. And he's got. Anything. Those are donuts that are in his. All the in his, he's got. In his. They're just. In no, they're just legs. donuts. And then he's got a helmet now that has donuts painted into his helmet. Oh, that's so I call him the Donut King. But uh, little Jack Brooks brought me a Sprecher. Thanks a lot to those folks. Group two is on the racetrack. Final time to get qualified into the qualifying heat races. 91 is Jones, 24 Hunter Bauer, 216 Declan Bender, 166 Logan Eisenhardt, 55 is Raggio, 117 Landon Smith, 56 Jordan Jean, 186 Jacob Vandercoy, 14 Damon Ream, 112 Aiden Brown, 106 Reese Potterworth, 157 Ian Wolf, 270 is Jess Reynolds, 149 Tregan Birdsong, and the 176 Jacob Walter. Those are the bikes on the track. I can't wait to show that off before we. Uh, <laughs> Go to our next little break here. Open paddock is scheduled any minute, probably after this one is done. You can go to the infield through the uh, tunnel underneath the grandstands. It is right by the main entrance. When you go down those stairs, make a hard left. You go in there. It's only open from 11, I'm sorry, 10, yeah, 1135, no, 1235 until 125. Opening ceremonies are at 130 today. Look at those guys just running wide up on the end. So 216. That's uh, Declan Bennery's Killer B racing. Because you see, Bauer was still. Oh on. yeah, just still just on. Still yeah. On. When they actually, the when they go there. past us in this, we're, we're at the Arca going into the corner. They're still on the gas. Yeah, you can there. hear it. Yep. 
Declan Bender again, Killer B racing. That's why he's got everything black and yellow. Leathers, the stickers on the bikes, the graphics. He's actually tracked down the 24. Hunter Bauer from Niagara Falls, Canada. Let's try to swing up the inside. You ever been there? Ever done the Maid of the Mist? I have not done the Maid of the Mist. I've been to Niagara Falls a couple of times. It's, it's really it's pretty. It's the pretty Maid of the Mist nice. is good. It's yeah. no, it, it 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 is very pretty. And going there at nighttime is awesome as well. Trevor Bruner at the top spot, 36.449. Drain in second. There's 117, Landon Smith sneaking a peek up the inside. Smith's up to 19, so 19th so far in this round. Declan Bender is 18th. Last group, last round of qualifying, getting open paddock area coming up. It's going to be a little bit shorter than we planned. Whoa, Landon Smith got really sideways right there in the 55. Almost runs into the backside. I'm just going to stack him up there for this second group of riders. 991 Justin Jones is there. Raggio is going to sneak and peek up the inside. So when that back end steps out like that, Ralph, you lose some momentum, and that's how these other two riders closed up so fast. And 91 went by on the straightaway. Raggio doing it for Rackley Racing. Jeremy Rackley used to race back in the day. And the fourth bike there in line, fifth bike in line, really had some head shake. I believe that's the 166 of Eisenhard. And again, he's got he's in all that turbulence with those four bikes right in front of him. So maybe that was why the head shake. But uh, he missed the main event yesterday. He's trying to keep his rookie of the year hopes alive. He's got to make the main event to get any points today. Hmm. Raggio gets up to 15th in this final round of qualifying. Not bad for that second group. Bruner's fastest in this second round. That is it for qualifying out here at the Springfield Mile. All right, race fans, that is it for practice and qualifying. The open paddock is open right now. Go underneath the grandstands, and you can go on through the tunnel. Watch your head when you go through there. If you're a tall gentleman like I am, you got to watch your head, and you come through into the infield. And uh, if you don't want to go to the infield right now, you don't have to, but you can sit back and watch the Castle Rock TT from just a few weeks ago. Opening ceremonies today are at 1.30, and uh, we'll – We'll be back with that. We'll have a lot of stuff happening on the stage. Grab your raffle tickets for A-Bait of Illinois and back on track. Get your event T-shirts. Stop by. There's a lot of stuff on sale out in oh, front man, right awesome. now. It's man, awesome. I went shopping. You went shopping. Yep. Have some fun out there. We'll be back in just about an hour for opening ceremonies right here at the Mission Springfield Mile. Progressive American Flat Track Series is brought to you by Mission Foods. Mission has you covered with race day recipes that are too fast, too tasty. And by Yamaha Motor Corporation, an official OEM partner of Progressive American Flat Track. Welcome back to the Certainty Castle Rock TT presented by the Law Tigers. Time to catch you up on the action from earlier today. Here in the singles category, it was Trevor Bruner grabbing the Pronto Parts Plus Pull Award for 500 bucks, being the quickest at qualifying on heat number one. He started on the inside, and Bruner was dominant in heat number one. Got the jump, got the lead, got the checkers in heat number one. On heat number two, the champ had a bit of a bad start here, Scotty. He was a little deeper in the field, and it bit him. It got a lot of congestion down here in the first corner. He actually gets hit from behind by the 51 of Cole Zabala, puts him way back in the field. Dalton Gautier, meanwhile, is out front here. 
and the 79 is going to come around and take the win in heat number two. Well, it felt really good being back up front. Uh, it's been a while, I feel like, but uh, no, I just got off to a really good start. My bike's working awesome and uh, just hit my lines and, yeah, smooth sailing. One thing we don't see a lot of is Cody Kopp in the last chance qualifier. He was here today. He got a good start, but not good enough to get the lead. Hayden Roos Evans nailed the start, takes the lead into the first corner and hangs on and doesn't make one single mistake. He will take the win. Kopp will be second. And that will get Kopp onto the main event, which was key. Onto the Outlands Dallas Honda Challenge. 2,500 bucks on the line. Hey, Dalton Gautier. He's on that 79, but he had a challenger early on here in the 38. The local racer, Tanner Dean, he says he's retired. He's coming out of retirement for this one, and he led for a while. Then Gautier got by him, got the win, and got the $2,500 check in victory lane from Al Lamb's Dallas Honda. Well, another rider who was joining us after a two-year hiatus from racing was Ryan Sipes. It's been a really tough injury. Um, something that I, I i did wonder i always said i would come back but i did wonder you know sometimes if i would be able to because it just wasn't healing for a while i think now it's healing pretty decent i'm still definitely not 100 uh, percent i would love to be back racing moto and all the other things but uh for now uh, i want to race something so american flat track is something i feel like i can still do hopefully competitively he tried making his return here in castle rock but sadly scotty ryan fell out of range to make the feature here tonight Scotty, let's go ahead and take a look at that starting lineup. On the pole from Pine Grove, Pennsylvania, the 79 of Dalton Gautier. Starting second is the 21, Trevor Bruner from Aurora, Indiana. Starting third from Tacoma, Washington, the 38 of Tanner Dean. And the last bike on the front row, the 88 of Chase Saddle from Hillsborough, Illinois. Max Well, Tom Drain, Dominic Cameron, and James Hot, row number two. And your defending champ way back there starting on the fourth row, Cody Cobb. Keep an eye on the one bike. Eight minutes and two laps starting soon as the 10 second board is up. Away she goes. Focus on the lights. Red, yellow. Anticipating the green. There we go. Gautier with a good start. Bruner even better on the 21. He might be first to the corner. Terrible start for Sadoff. He's buried in the pack. Already bumping and banging going on. Riders getting pushed and shoved. Meanwhile, Bruner checking out. Gautier trying to come with her. Here comes Dean. Tanner. Dean's in third. Here comes Maxwell, already up to fourth from that second row. Max is on the move on the 18 bike. Gautier so smooth off that last corner, closes up on Bruner going into the first one. 21 is Bruner, 79 is Gautier, 38 is Dean. And Whale right behind him on the Red Bull KTM number 18 and fourth. The 38 Tanner Dean looked a little bit outside, a little bit further wider in, in that tight left-hander. It might be a line that come in, comes in a little bit later. Tom Drain's back here in fifth on the 59. 19, James Ott is way up there to sixth right now. Gautier sitting in second, Kristen. Yeah, and he is really starting to apply pressure on Trevor Bruner. He won this race last year, but this season has presented unique obstacles. He said today, I don't want this one. I need it. I need to get back on the box. Guys, for a former champion to go 11 rounds without a podium, you know he is going to fight for this one. Well, he's in a position to do so. He's got six and a half plus minutes and two laps to go to get it done. He was really smooth right there through that left-hander. Closes in on the 21 just a little bit. And the 21 was struggling, and... Dalton didn't pounce on him. It's okay. He is right there close enough. He, he, if that happens again, he will be there. Cody Cobb deep in the field. The reigning champ is back in 12. Things not going so well for the number one. Watch him here. Contact from another rider up the inside, pushing and shoving. That was the 75 of Santero. It just didn't look like Cody was aggressively going into that corner, you know, kind of he's setting up a little bit. Fredericks in there, too, in the 151, and now he's with the 194, which is Cameron, who struggled to get the bike started, and he is running. So right now, Cody is sitting in 11th. 194 from Rainier, Oregon, nearby. This is his home track Cody as well. Cody outside there, back to the fight for the lead. Still the same. Bruner, Gautier, Dean, Whale. Every time they go across the start finish line, they can see how much time is left. So maybe Dalton's just watching right now, wants to see exactly what the 21's doing. And what the 21 is doing, Ralph, is riding a perfect race until he slips a little bit sideways right there. That seems the one spot where Bruner really struggles is getting a drive off that corner. The Essence and Yamaha fighting for traction there. 
Coach Jay a little bit smoother through there on his bike. I think Dalton needs to go right now because the 38 is right there applying pressure and so is the 18 of Max Whale. Yamaha, KTM, Honda, KTM, your top four would train on another Yamaha back in fifth. Here comes Whale inside. Can't get it done on Dean. I liked what he was doing there, trying the Tanner Dean line going really wide down here in one and two to square up the corner and get the drive going into that next right-hander. Coutier looking a little to the outside. Bruner's been very lucky today, Scotty. Watch this. Watch how the 21 slips that rear end right there. And Gautier could have pounced on him right there. Yeah, but he he had to check up because he almost hit the back tire of the 21 and got sideways right in front of him. But yeah, good save by the 21 and a good maneuver by the 79 not to hit that tire right in front of him. Four and a half minutes and two laps to go. Cops still stuck in 11th, by the way, the champ. Set off in seventh. The Parts Unlimited AFT singles presented by Kicker are underway here at Castle Rock. Stay with us for more when we come back. Sun setting here in Castle Rock, Washington. Great fight for the win here. Meanwhile, back here, there's the number one deep in the field, the reigning champ, Cody Kopp in 11th. Chase Sadoff has the fastest lap of the race. He's Boy, in look six. how packed this group is right here. Five riders. Anything can happen here. Even Drain could win it from fifth if the wrong thing happens to the guys at the front and sucks the other two right into it. There goes Gautier trying that high line in three and four. It's not quite working for him yet. Maybe he's putting enough rubber down. It might come in. Two and a half minutes and two laps to go. Now he's trying the high line down here. So that should work out for him. He should be able to. Oh, he had to back up. He had to back off. He got into the back tire almost to the 21. I think he's going to have to gas it in there instead of backing off, Scotty. Just hope for the best as you rip it through there. Yeah, try to make a clean pass. There might be some contact. Here's Cody back in 11th, now 10th. So he's got clear racetrack in front of him. See if he can track down those riders just ahead, Bruce Evans and Chad Coase. Back to the lead here. And with Drain up in fifth, I don't think it's going to be enough for Cody today. We'll take our championship hunt to the finale weekend at Springfield at Labor Day. Closing in on a minute and a half and two laps to go. Dalton Gauthier is going to have to start taking some shots on goal here, Scotty. Yeah, you're going to have to go ahead and apply the pressure, you know, right there. Get, get a little physical, maybe shove it in there where there's not enough Just to room. get him thinking, if nothing else. Here he right? comes. Here he here comes, comes looking inside. No, but that's good to make him think he might try it, right? Yeah, you know, set him up. Yeah, set him up because now he's trying the high line down here. It looks like Bruner's running as low as he can down here in the final corner. It's working for him. He's got to get inside of Bruner's head at least. Maybe make him be thinking about it too much and he makes a mistake. Sadoff is joining the fight. He's up to six. He's caught up to these top five. Chase was fast all day, as fast as Bruner, but he got a terrible start, and it is costing him here. He has the fastest lap of the race, but he's stuck in the traffic. One minute and two laps to go here at Castle Rock for our Parts Unlimited AFT singles presented by Kicker. There's Chase on the 88 in the red and white leathers. He's caught up to him. Catch him is one thing, pass him is another. We have seen this so far for these top three, actually the top four. No pass just yet. Dalton's looking for a way through. Here he comes. Nothing to do there. Bruner's still holding a good line on the bottom. 30 seconds and two laps to go. Oh, go. Oh, oh, there oh. it is. Bruner slipped, but so did Dalton Gautier. And Dean is through to second. Now, what can Dean do? He has nothing I'm to sure lose. I'm sure Bruner Ralph. thought for sure Gautier was going to come flying past him right there. Right, and now the 38 has nothing to lose. He's going to go for it. Yeah, but he's got a ground. He's got some ground to make up here in a hurry. And Gautier is going to push it right up the inside. Coming up on zeros. There goes Gautier. Gautier back to second. Was, they're going to see zeros on the clock and two laps remaining this time by the start finish line. What a recovery lap by the 79. Went all the way back to third. Now he's right back to second. He's got to attack that way for the lead here when they come to the line with two to go. And he will. Watch the 79. Here we are with the progressive race to the checkers. Two laps remaining in our parts limited AFT singles presented by Kicker. Bruner, a little bit of a slip. Gautier couldn't capitalize. Here we go, there'll be one to go this time by. White flag will be out and waving in front of Trevor Bruner in the field. You can feel the intensity picking up. The final lap just ahead. Where is Dalton Gautier going to attack? One more lap to go. It was inside here where he went after Dean. Can't do it, he's about a bike length behind. 
Coming into this tight left-hander, final time. Can he get there? No, can't do it, Bruner survives. How about the final corner? Gautier right up to the inside, he's there now. Can he get him? No, he's going to the outside. Bruner fighting on the bottom, looking for any traction. Here comes Dalton working the outside, not gonna be enough. Trevor Bruner's gonna win the Castle Rock TT for the Parts Limited AMT singles presented by Kicker. He led every single lap. How about the results? Bruner, Gautier, Dean, Whale, and Drain, your top five. Chase set off James Ott, Chad Coast, Bruce Evans, and Cody Kopp, your defending champ back there in 10th. All right, Kristen, let's head down to you, the winner making his way towards you. Trevor, that was one of the most exciting races to watch this season, despite the fact you led wire to wire. Uh, for you, Dalton had you cover that entire race. What enabled you to work through all of that adversity, all of that pressure? Yeah, kind of just like I was saying in the heat race, you know, we we're just trusting the process. You know, the lines that we were doing all day were working really well. And, you know, I heard them the entire race, you know, it was breathing down my neck. But, uh, you know, I just held held consistent and stayed, uh, stayed with my lines. And, yeah, we'll see if we can keep it rolling into Springfield. Trevor, congratulations on the win. Well done. Hard fought, guys. No doubt about it. Well, here's one of the best battles of the night, and it was for second. Bruner slips, but so does Gautier, and Dean comes through to pass for second, and then Scotty, next time around, Gautier's got him all lined up, and look at the 79 come back inside to take over second once again. Well, Dalton had to be a little bit aggressive right there as the 38 slipped a little bit wide, you know, feeling the pressure up there. He doesn't run with this week in and week out, and he had an excellent race. Got up to second for a little while, but Tanner Dean settles for third behind the 79 of Dalton Gautier. 12 starts since his last podium, but to now finally be back on the box, Dalton. This little team has worked so hard to, to progress this season and to get the bikes better and to get you to a position where you can contend for wins again. For you to now be here, I mean, what challenges have, have you been presented with this year and how did you work through them? Oh, uh, we've uh, struggled a lot lately and this feels really good. I really wanted to win that, but it was so hard to pass out there. I was throwing everything at him and he was just kind of playing blocker line and uh, we both almost went down and threw it away over there both took the front and Tanner almost got both of us but uh, now it was a really crazy race I had him in front of me and Tanner behind me so I didn't really want to open the door up for Tanner and then uh, yeah I just had to play my cards right and I threw everything at him in the last corner last lap and it, I just spun it up a little bit too much but uh, can't thank everybody enough. Dalton we are so excited to see you back on the podium and uh, racing for wins again just an exciting race to watch guys. Here's the point, Scotty. And second place changes, and it gets a little bit closer between the leader, Cody Cobb, and Trevor Bruner picking up his second win. He's only 35 points now behind Cody. Tom Drain's in third with three wins and eight podiums. Chase Setoff still looking for that first win. He's in fourth, and Maxwell back there in fifth. And final time down to Kristen here for this one. His birthday was yesterday. He is from the state of Washington. Does this mean you're coming out of retirement, Tanner Dean? You might see me at Springfield. You might not. Who knows? I don't know yet. You know, I uh, actually I do know. Yeah, I am going to Springfield. Yeah, I'll race a mile on a twin. Uh, I'm really excited for it. This night just kind of sealed the deal and got my confidence way up. I want to thank all the fans coming out. You guys rock. I love every single one of you. I'm glad to be the hometown kid. And uh, man, I can't wait for next year. I'm definitely coming back here. Uh, whoever did the, everybody that did the track prep, they did an amazing job. The track was awesome. Uh, dude, I don't know. That's crazy. 10 year old bike, different graphics, different weathers. You know, it's kind of a last minute program, but man. <laughs> and getting to race with his buddy, Dalton Gautier. Super fun to see uh, Tanner Dean back in the mix, guys. Well, one more race to go here tonight. I can't wait for the Super Twins, Maine. It's up next. Welcome back to the Pacific Northwest and the Castle Rock TT. You know, there's been a lot of great champions, Scotty, who have come from this part of the country. It sure is interesting to see riders that grow up racing a TT go on to do very well at a half mile and a mile. Two of those names, Brad Baker, Joe Kopp. We caught up with both of them earlier. 
Yeah, it's always awesome coming back to Castle Rock for me. I only grew up 35 minutes through the country. Don't even have to hit the freeway to head home. So it's uh, it's home here. And, uh, the amateur days before the race, you know, there's this is a hotbed for flat track in the United States, and it's good to see all the upcoming riders beforehand for the national. But well, this is the 65th anniversary of uh, professional racing coming back to Castle Rock. So.